سلام علیکم دینا حضرات آج کی ایک بہت ہی خاص ایپیسوڈ ہے اس کی وجہ یہ ہے کہ دا گیسٹ ہو آئی ہیو انوائٹیڈ ٹو ڈے از دا برینس بہائنڈ ون آف دا برینس بہائنڈ ون آف دا لارجسٹ کمپنیز دیٹ ہیو امرجڈ آؤٹ آف پاکستان اٹ از اکارڈنگ ٹو ون آرٹیکل جو میں نے پڑھا دی سیکنڈ یونیکارن آؤٹ آف دا مڈل ایسٹ آفٹر کریم زمین ڈاٹ کام آپ نے سنا ہوگا پاکستان میں اگر آپ کا دبئی چکر لگا ہے تو آپ نے بے یوت کا نام سنا ہوگا آپ نے ڈوبیزل کا نام سنا ہوگا کرنٹلی ہی از دی سی ای او آف دی ڈوبیزل گروپ ان دا مڈل ایسٹ اینڈ نارتھ افریقہ ریجن جو یہ گروپ ہے بیسیکلی یہ او ایل ایکس مڈل ایسٹ نارتھ افریقہ اینڈ پاکستان میں یہ لوگ اون کرتے ہیں ڈوبیزل یہ لوگ اون کرتے ہیں بے یوت یہ لوگ اون کرتے ہیں دین زمین ڈاٹ کام بھی یہ لوگ اون کرتے ہیں اینڈ فرام گراؤنڈ اپ دیو بین ایبل ٹو بلڈ فرام اے ویب سائٹ جہاں پر لوگ ڈفرینٹ اشتہارات ڈالتے ہیں ٹو ناؤ این انٹائر کنگلومریٹ جہاں پر گاڑیاں بھی بکتی ہیں جہاں پہ موبائل فونس بھی بکتے ہیں جہاں پہ ہر قسم کی سیکنڈ ہینڈ مارکیٹ جو ایگزٹ کرتی ہے چاہے پاکستان میں ہو چاہے دبئی میں ہو یو اے ای میں ہو سعودی میں ہو سو آن اینڈ سو فورتھ موسٹ ریسنٹلی ان کو ٹو ہنڈریڈ ملین ڈالرس کی انویسٹمنٹ ملی جس میں ان کو ان کا جو ویلویشن ہے وہ ون بلین ڈالر کراس کی سو دے گاٹ دا یونیکارن اسٹیٹس ایز ویل جب میں نے اوریجنلی ان کو انوائٹ کیا تھا تو آئی ڈنٹ نو مچ اباؤٹ ہم ان ٹرمز آف دا پرسنالٹی اینڈ سو آئی واز ویری کیوریس کہ ہاؤ دس از گوئنگ ٹو بی بٹ آئی ہیو ٹو سے انکریڈیبل ہیومیلٹی اینڈ انکریڈیبل پرسنالٹی میری ایکسپیکٹیشن سے بہت ڈفرینٹ ون آف دا بیسٹ کانورزیشنز آئی ٹرن آن دا پلیٹفارم مجھے بہت سیکھنے کو ملا مجھے بہت مزہ آیا آئی ہوپ اٹ از دا سیم فار یو ایز ویل اگر آپ چینل پہ نئے ہیں تو ہمیں سبسکرائب کرنا مت بھولیے گا اگر آپ پرانے ہیں تو ویڈیو کو لائک کرنا مت بھولیے گا اٹ ریلی ہیلپس دی آل کر دم اگر آپ کی کوئی تھاٹس ہیں تو ہمیں کامنٹ سیکشن میں ضرور بتائیں ریڈ آل دا کامنٹس اٹ ریلی ہیلپس می امپروو دا کوالٹی آف دی کانورزیشن اگر آپ اوور سیز پاکستانی ہیں تو یو کین ہیلپ سپورٹ دا چینل آن دا اسٹرائپ لنک بلو جہاں پر یو کین ہیلپ اس ریمین انڈیپینڈنٹ فار ایز لانگ ایز پاسبل بٹ اینی ویز ہیئر از حیدر علی خان فرام دی ٹو بیزل گروپ آن ٹی وی ڈی کو دبئی اسٹوڈیو Hey Dubai, Assalamu alaikum. Mike. Thank you for being on the show. My pleasure, my pleasure. Uh, I'm going to start the conversation first, so trying to understand where you were born and where you were born in early life. Yes, uh, um, so I was, uh, I was born in Lahore. Um, and... Uh, um, Education, uh, etc. Uh, yes, I was born in 18 years, 18 years of my life. I was in Pakistan, um, went to different schools. Um, you know, grew up through the Pakistani schooling system, um, did my metric and then did FSC. Uh, when I was 18, um, then I went to the U.S., uh, um, studied engineering over there at the University of Texas at Austin. Um, so that's, that's kind of the, you know, the first formative years. Interesting. And how was the Pakistani education system? Um, uh, considering uh, <laughs> Look, I mean, you know, obviously I went through the Rata system, right? right. Um, and I, I, I would say I was decent at it. Mm. Uh, you know, I have two other brothers. One of them was brilliant at it. Uh, the other one was a tiny little bit and I was somewhere in, in the, the middle. middle. Yeah. Um, and, um, you know, and uh, I was in those days, I don't know what's going on today, but I was in those days, ہم میں تو ان دنوں میں ایڈیڈ ایف ایس سی جب ہم باہر نکلے تو ہم بات یہ کرتے تھے کہ کتنے پیجز ایکسٹرا پیجز کتنے منگوائے اچھا ایگزیکٹلی دو چار چھ آٹھ رائٹ کیونکہ آپ کو ایک سرٹن سیٹ آف پیجز دیتے تھے وہ جب ختم ہو جاتے تھے تو اس کے بعد آپ انویجولیٹر سے کہتے تھے جی مجھے ایکسٹرا پیج چاہیے تو سارا جو تھا وہ آپ کا گریڈ جو تھا اس کی اس کی جو سارا درو مدار تھا وہ اس پہ تھا کہ ہم ایکسٹرا پیجز ڈیڈ یو گیٹ اینڈ اکثر لڑکے نکل کے یہی بات کرتے تھے یہ نہیں کہ سوال ٹھیک کیا ہے غلط کیا یو نو سم آف آر سبجیکٹ اب اردو میں آپ لکھنا شروع کریں آپ لکھتے جائیں اسلامیت میں اگر آپ نے لکھنا ہے آپ لکھتے جائیں تو یا پاکستان اسٹڈیز میں بھی تو یو نو آئی آئی کینڈ آف وینٹ تھرو دیٹ سسٹم اینڈ یو نو میتھ واز اوکے بیکاز میتھ واز آلویز میتھمیٹکس واز میتھمیٹکس سو میتھ جو تھی وہ ٹھیک تھی لیکن کبھی کچھ چیزیں خاص سمجھ نہیں آئی مطلب طریقہ سے کھا دیا ہوتی ہیں وہ ہاں مطلب طریقہ سے کھا دیا سلوپ ہے سلوپ ہے اچھا سلوپ کیا ہے کیوں کرتے ہیں سلوپ رائٹ ڈریویٹو ہے کیوں ہے رائٹ انٹیگریشن کرنی ہے کیوں کرنی ہے یہ کسی نے نہیں بتایا رائٹ سو انٹرسٹنگلی جب میں ایف ایس سی کر کے گیا امیرکا پڑھنے 
आई रिमेंबर आई वॉज टेकिंग माई वो पहला एग्जाम मैं अपना ले रहा था वो मैथ का एग्जाम था एंड कैलकुलस का था और आई मीन वो इज नॉट अनफेमिलियर स्टाफ बिकॉज एफ एस सी में हम करते हैं कैलकुलस तो वो डिफ्रेंशिएशन इंटीग्रेशन तो हमने की होती है तो वो मैं जब कर रहा था तो आई रियलाइज के आई डोंट हैव लॉट ऑफ कॉन्फिडेंस बिकॉज मैं कर रहा हूँ और मुझे पता नहीं कि जवाब क्या है राइट क्योंकि हमें तो ये पता था कि जब सवाल करके आते थे मेट्रिक में या एफ एस सी में आपको पता था कि ये सवाल सही हुआ है क्योंकि आपको जवाब आता था ठीक है तो अब मैं कर रहा हूँ और मैं परेशान ये हूँ कि मैं एंड आंसर पे पहुँच गया हूँ और मुझे पता नहीं कि ये आंसर ठीक है कि गलत है राइट एंड दैट वॉज आई मीन यू नो आई आई मच ओल्डर नाउ लेकिन दैट थिंग इज स्टेड विद मी राइट एंड दैट्स नॉट वेरी गुड दैट्स दैट्स नॉट गुड फॉर योर कॉन्फिडेंस दैट्स नॉट गुड इन लाइफ राइट वट यू शुड बी फोकसिंग ऑन इज के यू नो यू अंडरस्टैंड वट यूर डूइंग एंड यू गिव योर बेस्ट अटैम्प्ट एट एनी बेसिकली एट एट सॉल्विंग द प्रॉब्लम वो आप कर लो उसके बाद जवाब ठीक है या उन्नीस बीस की थोड़ी गलती होगी हो जाती है जर्नी एंड द प्रोसेस मैटर एग्जैक्टली राइट सो वो चीज़ जो है ना वो मिसिंग है हमारे सिस्टम से राइट आई होप थिंग्स हैव चेंज नाउ यू नो मैं मुझे निकले पे काफ़ी साल हो गए हैं वट ईयर डिड यू गो टू द यू एस नाइन्टी फोर acha right. so you grew up in essentially 80s and early 90s in I pakistan did, yes, yes how was that um great wonderful acha um you know i was i remember um you know i was i was in from the i'm from the era ke jab mujhe yaad ek din hum log school gaye to vital science ka dildal pakistan release hua tha pichli raat ko sabne pdv pe dekha tha एंड आई आई मुझे आज तक वो दिन याद है राइट स्कूल का वो दिन याद है बाकी बहुत चीजें नहीं याद लेकिन स्कूल का वो वाला दिन याद है ke when we went and this such a craze right ke this song you know it was just aur har bande ne har kisi ne apne ghar pe dekha tha aur agle din wo aake sare school mein aake aur sirf ye baat ho rahi thi aap chip playground mein chale jao aap cricket khelne chale jao aap break mein doston ke sath baithe lunch kar whatever you're doing the only topic that was being discussed was ke tum raat ko song dekha aur raat ko wo song dekh dil dil pakistan suna right so um wonderful time wonderful time mm-hmm. growing up uh, you know i was into sports क्रिकेट खेलते रहो बाहर जाके सारा वक्त डांट भी पड़ती थी मेरा मगरब तक वापस भी आना होता था सो आई एम फ्रॉम दैट जनरेशन राइट लव बीइंग आउटसाइड दोस्तों के साथ जा रहे हैं शरारतें भी कर रहे हैं क्रिकेट भी खेल रहे हैं रियली गुड टाइम्स दिस इज द प्री इंटरनेट एरा सो उस टाइम के ऊपर वॉट लेट टू द डिसीजन कि जी अब अमेरिका जाते हैं पढ़ने और कौन सी यूनिवर्सिटी में जाते हैं कौन सा प्रोग्राम करते हैं um did you have cousins jinhone pehle ye path follow kiya tha ya was it a completely blind sided nahi uh, so um uh, i had i had cousins who had gone to the uk um padhne ke liye jo mujhse bade the kuch wo gaye the family se and um you know extended family se um and uh, it's it's interesting uh, when when we were growing up uh, our father always used to tell us ke Uh, you know with, with three brothers and a sister at least to the brothers you would say ke aap log bade ho ke you're going to be engineers hmm. I, i don't know why that was so defined tha <laughs> I, i just i have no clue right, uh, right. kyun um he was not an engineer himself but you just ke aapne engineer banna hai theek hai ji engineer banna hai so <laughs> if you ask me why why engineering uh, it's funny i was doing my interview once in the us and and person this is for an internship he asked me ke why, why did you get into engineering right and i said believe it or not this is the story uh, you know that, that our father <laughs> said father yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i mean i didn't know any better right uh, uh and i didn't even know what it was about i mean i kind of kind of knew um but suna ye tha ji agar aapne ibm mein job karni hai ya intel mein karni hai you have to do engineering right um and I, i'm so grateful that i actually did engineering um and we can get into that why um but uh it it really kind of helped Uh, help me become who i am in terms of how i think you know critical thinking analytical thinking etc um but uh, that that was that was it and and america ka ye tha ki if you can get in um uh, or agar you know if somehow up financially agar aap kuch manage kar sakte ho uh, to then 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 go for it right uh, and um, thankfully i did you know and and, and uh, had a great experience going through college uh, university um learned a lot सॉरी मैं वीडियो को यहाँ पे रोक रहा हूँ लेकिन एक बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट मैसेज मैं आपको देना चाह रहा था कर्टसी ऑफ आवर फ्रेंड्स एट सरमाया फाइनेंशियल और ये मैसेज है पैसे के बारे में तो पैसा तो आजकल वैसे ही हर किसी को चाहिए लेकिन ये मैसेज मैं नहीं डिलीवर करूँगा ये मेरा एक दोस्त डिलीवर करेगा जिसका नाम है तैमूर सलाहुद्दीन ऑल्सो नोन एज मोरू 
पैसा 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 भाई सीन ऐसा होना चाहिए कि सोए हुए भी बंदा पैसे बना सके टेक्निकल एनालिसिस की मैंने मास्टर क्लास लिया और अब सोए सोए मेरे पैसे बन रहे होते हैं क्रिप्टो फॉरेक्स और स्टॉक मार्केट्स के ट्रेंड को मैंने समझ लिया और उनका फ़ायदा उठा रहा हूँ थोड़ा बहुत कैपिटल मार्केट्स के फंडामेंटल का कोर्स भी आप ले सकते हैं जिससे बड़ी तस्वीर आपको समझने को मिलती है और उससे मदद होती है आपकी कि आप कंपनीज़ या म्यूचुअल फंड से कैसे दानशमंदी में इन्वेस्ट करके पैसा कमा सकते हैं अल्टीमेटली सोने का वक्त मिल जाता है और पैसे इनकम आपको मिलती है कि मार्केट में कब एंटर होना है कब एग्जिट होना है ताकि बोरिंग लेक्चर से बेहतर है कि घर बैठे सोए रहो और पीछे छुपके छुपके पैसे बनते रहें तो जाओ सरमाया डॉट पी के पे और ये दो कोर्सेज चेकआउट करो हाउ इज द प्रोग्राम एट यू टी ऑस्टन जी जी तो देखिए वन थिंग अबाउट द यू एस एजुकेशन सिस्टम विच विच गोज बियॉन्ड जस्ट द बुक्स एंड द क्लासेज एंड ऑल दैट अदर स्टफ राइट जो है is that it really helps shape you as a person uh, and that's why i think it's such a fantastic system um because it it really puts you in situations where you grow as a person acha how so um roommates hain theek hai theek hai aaj tak to you know a roommate be uh, from a different background right um ek kamra hai utne bade kamre nahi hote chhota sa kamra hota hai usme do bed lage hote hain do desk hote hain aapne sab share karna hai floor pe फ्लोर मेट्स हैं राइट तो उनसे दोस्तियाँ होती हैं um, आपको अपनी क्लासेस खुद फिगर आउट करनी है आपके कोई वो नहीं है पाबंदी नहीं है सुपरविजन नहीं है आपको सब कुछ खुद करना है uh, आपने क्लास में जाना है तो ग्रेट नहीं जाना वो भी आप पे है स्पोर्ट्स आर वेरी बिग राइट उनकी जो अपनी जो अमेरिकन फुटबॉल है uh, या बास्केटबॉल है आई मीन देर आर स्टेडियम्स If you look at the top ten stadiums in the world, probably six, seven of them are university st- uh, stadiums in the U.S. Mm-hmm. with a capacity of hundred thousand. That whole experience, you have to go to career fairs. You have to talk to recruiters. You have to figure out where to do you have to figure out internship. How to do it? How to do it? So, it's a whole lifestyle. You have to figure out all of this yourself. You are not giving any help. यू नो कोई कोई ये नहीं कह रहा कि अच्छा जी आप इस बच्चे को इंटर्नशिप दे दें या ये कर लें या वो कर लें नहीं है so mm-hmm. you based on your merit exactly based on what you do in school you will progress based on the effort that you put in you will progress in life right and it's a fair system like that's that's what i felt like uh, if you put in the effort you do see the reward uh, mm-hmm. at least mera experience here i mm-hmm. uh, and uh, you know as fair a system as i've seen right whether it's in school or outside of school uh, in the professional life right or your engineering kaun si thi Uh, electrical and computer engineering. Right. So, '98 me, I have graduated. I mean, in '99, because I did internships in between. I worked for almost a year in inter- internships and etc. So right. '99 till 2014, you were in the US Jee. for 15 years. Jee. Um, what were you doing during those um, years? So I, so I did a degree in engineering. Um, and you know, I started off in the engineering space. Um, I, I worked uh, uh, at a company called National Instrument. um and um uh, uh based in Austin Texas um and we were uh the company was was uh, basically building a lot of systems um to be able to do um agar main simple tarah se samjhaun to you know you have a lot of domain experts jo hote hain aapke physicists hote hain scientists hote hain um who are not very good with coding right so we developed a lot of tools which would let them solve their domain problems um by specifying in a higher context jo wo karna cha rahe hain right uh, and then we would take care of everything so uh, it's it's a pretty well you know um it's a pretty well known um some of the tools that that we produce like lab view and all that jo kafi engineering schools mein and companies mein use hote hain um so i was there i did shuru mein maine hardware engineering ki um so i learned a lot about aur wo bhi maine isliye ki kyunki jab main graduate kar raha tha so you know um abhi hum जब मैं आपसे पहले बात हो रही थी मैं उसे शेयर कर रहा था कि आई ऑलवेज लाइक चैलेंजेस एंड समबडी सेड कि द मोस्ट डिफिकल्ट जॉब टू गेट इज अ हार्डवेयर इंजीनियर जॉब बिकॉज फॉर एवरी हार्डवेयर इंजीनियर देर आर एट सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियर्स अच्छा तो आई सेड ओके लेट्स ट्राई टू गेट अ हार्डवेयर इंजीनियर जॉब सो थैंकफुली आई डिड एंड सो यू नो अब मसला यह था जब मैं पाकिस्तान जाता था तो लोग पूछते थे कि जब क्या करते हो तो मैं कहा जी मैं हार्डवेयर इंजीनियर होता हूँ उनको किसी को कुछ समझ नहीं आती थी मैं कहा आपके पास कंप्यूटर है तो कहते जी है मैं कहा उसको कभी खोलेंगे ना उसके अंदर जो होता है ना बस हम वही बनाते हैं तो मैं कहा इस साल मैं आपको क्या समझाऊँ राइट तो बेसिकली हार्डवेयर इंजीनियरिंग यू नो लॉट ऑफ इट इट्स अ पी सी बी इज द बोर्ड एट यू सी एंड एवरी ऑल द कम्पोनेट्स एट गो ऑन एट इट्स बेसिकली टेकिंग अलॉट ऑफ एनोलॉग सिग्नल्स कम्यूटर डिजिटल मेन एंड डूइंग अलॉट ऑफ थिंग्स विद इट 
it's kind of the infrastructure that's in place to make a lot of things happen. Now it's moved to a very software world mm. uh, because the compute power has gone through the roof, right? But it includes everything, right? Board level design, ASIC, the chips are in your own, that's the one. So I did a lot of that stuff in the early phase of my career, uh, National Instrument. Then I went into more of the software development side, um, um, uh, firmware, which basically is going to be inside, you know, processors running on these peripheral, uh, peripherals and, 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 and uh, boards. Uske baad an application level software. So I kind of did the whole stack way right. from bare silicon all the way up to application level software. And in the end, or in the end as in uh, before moving here, um, I was managing a fairly large team. Um, there was about 150, 160 people based in different parts of the world, a lot of them in, in the US, um, developing all these tools and, and products. Uh, and uh, it, was, it, was, it was really good hardcore engineer right um, um, i learned a lot or your full up career jo hai wo national instruments ke sath hi tha i was a national instruments beech mein silicon labs chale gaya you know they make um, chips right asics uh, so the product that i worked on um, and now back in the day uh, so got ipods kafi the right, right. Uh, iphone aa raha tha uh, but uh, for those of you jo recall kar sakte hain so ipod or iphones mein uh, you would be able to listen to the radio as well you'd be able to tune so that was our chip That basically that would allow you to tune into radio stations right, uh, right. Uh, and that was part you know that was in the iPhone and and, and so on so so a uh, three by three millimeter ki chip thi and the goal was to get it even smaller and smaller uh, to make sure that it didn't take a lot of footprint because phone bin jaga nahi hoti um, and it was you know very small and, and and would allow you to so you know I worked on that and then worked on a bunch of different things but then i went back to national instruments because i was missing some of the other kind of stuff yeah, I, th- i felt this was too way down in there but when i was not chale gaya when i do management um and then kind of rose through the ranks over there and uh, etc et um to then one may uh, dot com bubble ke baad us market kafi Mm-hmm. shake up hui thi mm-hmm. uh, i remember both software and hardware particularly us time pe software itna boom nahi gaya tha hardware mein compaq and ibms and sure. all of these of the world laid off a ton of people and i know yeah. a lot of pakistanis jo ke 90s mein ka engineering ki and they were in compaq hp ibm um and then suddenly us crash ke baad bade halat wo hue the what was your experience uh, aur isme main 2001 mein do, do cheezon ka kahunga ek to war on terror ki wajah se there was a certain cultural shift as well um security situation cultural shift racism um, and you were in a red state like you were in a hardcore red state right um and then dusri taraf jo economics ka disaster hua tha particularly pertaining to your industry how did that impact you um so two questions so the first one look i i spent uh, a good 20 years in the us uh you know 94 say 2014 tak till i moved here um and you know i never felt or saw Uh, uh any any kind of slurs or anything like that thrown at me personally either me or my family i, I haven't experienced it uh you know i've obviously heard of stories ke kisi saath hua kisi saath wahan pe hua um and generally also uh, you know workplace was very supportive always was uh you know um and they they said we have clear rules around this right if you ever face anything like this you just come tell us we'll take care of it But alhamdulillah, I never really faced anything, right? right. Uh, um, uh, and pre or post 9/11, kabi koi no. No, mujhe mujhe per, mere apne experience mein nahi. Right. See, okay. Um, and uh, one thing I'll say, uh, you know, about the U.S. Jo log hain, jo individuals jo hain, ab kabi gaye hain, ab khud bhi gaye hain, they are just very nice people. Hmm. Wohi ke DNA mein. Absolutely oh, right. Ham ham log when I remember when we bought our first house, ham wahan pe move kiye to it was an older neighborhood. To hamare jo sare neighbors the, zyada tar jo the, they had been living there jab se wo ghar bana tha. Probably tab bana tha jab main paida hua tha. To you know they had been living there and they were all they were all retired. And my wife and I we were a young couple, right? Uh, they would treat us like their kids. Bachon ki tarah treat karte the. Hmm. घर आओ बैठो जिस तरह आपके आई वुड से जिस तरह आपके ग्रैंड पेरेंट्स ट्रीट करते हैं दैट्स हाउ दे वुड ट्रीट अस राइट लिटरली सो मच लव सो मच यू नो एंड एंड वी वर यू नो दैट्स हाउ नेबर्स शुड बी दैट्स वो वी फेल्ट राइट दिस इज हाउ नेबर्स शुड बी बिकॉज यू ऑलवेज फेल्ट वेलकम टू राइट एंड यू ऑलवेज फेल्ट लाइक इट्स अ कम्यूनिटी एंड एंड एट वर्क ऑल्सो आई मीन सम ऑफ माई क्लोज फ्रेंड्स आर द पीपल क्योंकि आप सिंगल था काम करते थे काम ही काम करते थे उसके बाद जो आराम भी करते थे कि एंड एंड यू बी सरप्राइज यू नो लॉट ऑफ पीपल थिंक कि अच्छा जी ज़्यादातर लोग जो हैं मे बी देर पार्टी और 
ye ho raha hai wo no a lot of the people that i met they have very good value system right yeah. hamari tarah ke i feel like hollywood really screwed it up in terms of ke jo logon ko image mil gayi na kyunki main us jata hu wahan par aap jo average white american hai वो होता ना हमारे यहाँ कॉन्सेप्ट है कि बस पेरेंट्स को बाहर निकाल दिया ये कर लिया वो कर लिया वो अपने वो ग्रैंड पेरेंट्स के साथ बहुत वेल कनेक्टेड है वो क्रिसमस पे बाय होको बाय क्रो इकट्ठा होगा चर्चेज उनके संडेज को भरे हुए होते थे एंड सो आई वॉज लाइक यार मैंने तो मीडिया में तो मुझे उन्होंने कुछ और दिखाया था जो अमेरिका मैं देख रहा हूँ वो तो एक बहुत अच्छा सिंपल सादा वैल्यू सिस्टम वाला to put food on the table hmm. right and then with whatever time is left they're spending their time with their families right uh theek hai aap kehte ho har jagah ke you know um divorce rate ye hai flan ye but you know you could probably hum pakistan bhi dekh ke ye baatein kar sakte hain so aise to you know but but the average family is a hard working family where both parents work and they try to do the best for their children hmm. i mean uh, th- that's there right and as you said exactly thanksgiving ho christmas ho they get together right hmm. um kabhi wife ki family ki taraf kabhi husband ki family ki taraf but you know maybe they split thanksgiving and but but they do right mm. um and it's uh, they they're, they're very good people up uh, elevator mein jao people will smile at you they will ask you how you're doing you know strangers right uh um just very warm very yeah. warm right so that's 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 what i felt do right? you think that's changed recently if you've gone there uh, no i i was there last year and you know and i same. still i still see that you know i I I go there and I'm in the elevator and as soon as you enter you know and now this is Texas so instead of saying how how are you doing you you'll hear how you doing hmm. right or how are you all doing uh that's probably a better uh but with a smile on the face yeah. right good how are you right how's your day going right and that is a very short ride you know a ground floor se chauthe floor pe ja rahe ho ha but just so much warmth um and and The other thing I've also noticed is that if you go to a shop or a shop, you're buying something, and, and I'm sure you must have experienced it. People actually try to help you, yeah. right? They're not there to make a sale. 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 They're not uh you you go agar aapka koi you know generally people genuinely also aap kahin pe jao aapka koi problem hai they'll try to help you right, right. they'll try to figure out acha okay maybe this maybe you can and and they i think they use a lot of what i would say is common sense and okay if this doesn't work maybe this will so they're always trying to find solutions mm. as, as a society that's one thing i noticed ke har koi solution dhoond raha hota hai apne level pe right mm. which means ke authority has been delegated at multiple levels and not just stuck somewhere at one level हर कोई एम्पावरमेंट बहुत ज्यादा right some people had eight some people had 10 offers mm. okay now when you have an environment like that what happens is that you can demand your price mm. you can say okay theek hai ji main aapke paas aajta hu mujhe ye ye chahiye nahi main aapke paas aajta hu mujhe ye chahiye and uh, a lot of it was the excitement around this whole internet boom and and not anything material so a true value paid driven nahi tha wo frenzy paid driven tha basically uh-huh. i mean there's a lot yeah. of startups that that you know came about that around that time we're going to do this and we're going to you know make it easy to build websites and da 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 whatever all that other stuff and then pop bubble burst uh, so the company i was at was around for a good you know 25 years uh, at that point of time um very solid customer base uh no large orders a lot of small orders kind of spread out a lot of as i said a very large customer base pretty well hedged against uh, mm. uh you know sh- sure hum log ek hota tha wahan pe manufacturing index pmi ko follow karte the when that goes below 50 that means you know the orders are contracting so did it have an impact on us yes it had an impact on us um we didn't have any layoffs the company rather decided ke to okay everybody take a 5 10% pay cut let's let's just you know muscle through this or survive through this and then you know uh and not only that i think i learned a very important lesson twice 2001 and then 2008 2009 
the company said okay look we're gonna all gonna take um uh, a bite out of ourselves basically ke aap 5 10% kam karo across the board the uh, leadership thi they even took a bigger pay cut on a 20% pay cut liya but at the same time they said we're going to double our sales force now so and they were very transparent about it ye nahi ka ke acha chupke chupke side pe kar li they said no we're going to double our sales force because this will pass and when this passes when we're on the other side of the storm we will have enough people to sell twice as much hmm. and that was kind of the rough uh, you know uh, thesis and it worked out really well hmm. and then came 2008 2009 when the mortgage crisis hit uh, which was a global kind of a meltdown um the company did exactly the same thing mm. double down double down a- and 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 everybody and and the idea was ke theek hai abhi you you know you take a bit of pain everybody across the board but when we come on the other side and we grow faster there is a bigger benefit for you on the other end mm. and i think it was easier to get everybody behind that message mm. so thankfully i i didn't go through that uh um but i have a lot of friends who were impacted but then you know things did recover fairly quickly uh, and people were you know is tarah nahi tha ki koi job jiski chali gayi usko job mili nahi bahut dost the mere inki gayi but they were able to find something else so it's always like a big cycle or cycle uh, largely puchne ka maqsad mera ye tha ki we you know ke pakistan mein is waqt there's a huge economic crisis um sirf pakistan mein nahi hai europe recession mein hai um us quack economics khel raha hai but हर जगह पे कुछ ना कुछ हो रहा है एंड फॉर लॉट ऑफ पीपल पर्टिकुलरली यंग पीपल दे आर वेरी कंफ्यूज बिकॉज दिस इज द फर्स्ट टाइम इन देयर लाइफ व्हेन देयर सीइंग अनसर्टेनटी ऑन ए मॉन्यूमेंटल स्केल एंड सो इफ इफ देयर इज वन थिंग दैट बेस्ड ऑन योर ओन एक्सपीरियंसेस ऑफ टू साइकिल्स दैट यू वेंट थ्रू व्हाट वुड यू से टू दैट यंग पर्सन के लिसन आई नो थिंग्स आर टफ राइट नाउ बट व्हाट वुड दैट बी लुक द वर्ल्ड you know goes through cycles right um, you pick a sector it goes through cycles real estate ke bare mein kehte hain it goes through cycles everything goes through a cycle um there's enough people on the planet uh, close to what 8 billion now whatever um we're not leaving this planet anytime soon things are going to be okay uh uh and um you know you just have to look look for the opportunity in 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 this time because there is opportunity right uh we jo mai kehta tha jab mujhe bhi hame bhi ye baat pehli dafa jab maine ye baat suni ke oh we're going to double our sales force right aapke pehle dimag mein kya khayal aata hai ki yaar acha yaar you know generally jo log baat karte the ke ye, what if this lasts 3 years right um to double karke kya karenge right aapka jo hai you know um, your, your staff cost is going to go up uh and and revenue might not go up right uh, and and it's not like unke paas koi you know they had a magic wand or anything koi 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 you know a magic ball tha ke oh acha agle saal jo hai june mein recovery aa jayegi to sab theek ho jayega no they didn't know right so you have to have enough conviction ke this will pass and it will trust me um you know i've seen so many times now with this stock market also it, it goes down and and uh you know and then but if you historically just look at it it just keeps you know inching upwards right so it will it will pass um it, it is definitely tough uh but as i said you know there's always opportunity okay. right patience and perseverance chahiye to go through that absolutely right um you were very well settled there hmm. um 15 years in to your job you decided ki ji maine ab switch hmm. karna hai to not just in terms of company but you switched regions sure um again you 2014 hai 2014 ke andar middle east was not that um advanced i would say um we didn't have the kareem story or mm-hmm. any of that duniya largely us se leti thi ki us batayega ke technology mein kya hoga aur phir duniya usko follow karti thi aur wo bhi 5 se 7 saal baad you at that time decided ki maine us chhodne aur maine change karna what was that thought process why did you decide to leave the us and sure. come to dubai um so look i was in the us uh, baaki jo meri sari family thi uh, they were uh in the region um half i would say in pakistan half in dubai uh, or maybe a little bit more in pakistan and you know as as i was progressing in age and family bache i we realized my wife and i realized uh, over time we realized ke pakistan jana jo hai it's uh, becoming a bit more challenging for us pehle ye tha ke chalo jab bhi you know jab bhi dil kiya chale gaye फिर जब बच्चे स्कूल जाना शुरू हो जाते हैं देन यू आर लिमिटेड टू वेरी स्मॉल विंडोज चल समर की विंडो है 
और एक दिसंबर की विंडो है दैट्स अ बार राइट छुट्टी भी मुझे दस पंद्रह साल बाद काम करने के बाद ही मुझे अमेरिका में एक चीज़ है आपको आप यू स्टार्ट विद टू वीक्स ऑफ वेकेशन राइट यूरोप में आप चार पाँच हफ्ते से शुरू करते हो हम देखते ही रहते थे यूरोप वाले पाँच हफ्ते हैं हम दो हफ्ते एंड फॉर अ गुड फाइव एट ईयर्स इट वॉज टू वीक्स अब दो दो हफ्ते यानी कि दस दिन चलो आप कुछ लॉन्ग वीकेंड में ला लो साथ कर लो मैक्सिमम तीन हफ्ते स्ट्रेच कर लो राइट एंड पाकिस्तान जाना इज वो जब पाकिस्तान लैंड करते हैं दो दिन आपका जेट लैग होता है वापस आते हैं फिर मसला होता है वन टाइम आई मेजर राइट डोर टू डोर छत्तीस घंटे राइट थर्टी सिक्स आवर्स राइट तो थर्टी सिक्स आवर्स तो आपका डेढ़ दिन तो वैसे ही निकल गया उसके बाद अगले छह दिन आपके वैसे ही सोते सोते निकल जाएंगे सब जाग रहे होंगे आप सो रहे होंगे सब सो रहे होंगे आप उठे हुए हो गए आप देखेंगे बाहर खाना खा लिया आदमी हमें स्टमक भी अपसेट हो गया हाँ वो एक अलग चीज़ है <laughs> वो यूजुअली मिड में या एंड वाले फेज वो सारे फेजेस मुझे पता है अच्छी तरह एंड वाले फेज में जाके आप बीमार पड़े हुए हो जाने का वक्त आ गया है तो एक तो ये था कि वी रियलाइज अच्छा दूसरा ये था कि बच्चे बड़े हो रहे थे एंड देन यू नो आई हैड हर्ड फ्रॉम अदर पीपल के अमेरिका में ना यू हैव प्राइमरी स्कूल देन मिडल स्कूल एंड देन हाई स्कूल मिडल स्कूल स्टार्ट एट ग्रेड सिक्स तो वो मैंने सुना सुना ये था कि ग्रेट एक दफ़ा बच्चे मिडिल स्कूल में चले जाएं इट बिकम्स चैलेंजिंग और हाई स्कूल में चले जाएं तो फिर तो मूव करना जो है क्लोज टू इम्पॉसिबल हाँ यू बिकॉज द किस डोंट वांट टू मूव राइट दे वेरी वेल सेटल्ड तो बल्कि जो मेरा जो बड़ा है बेटा जो है उससे तो हम घर में भी ज़्यादा उर्दू बोलते थे वो माशा ही स्पीक्स गुड उर्दू राइट तो वो वो भी था मेरे की जुबान भी आनी चाहिए बट जनरली ये था कि नीड टू बी क्लोजर टू द फैमिली तो एक तो एक तो वो दूसरी दूसरा ये था कि आई वॉज I was doing well. I was doing really well. Alhamdulillah. Allah wala karam hai. Um in the corporate world. Um uh you know I I, I rose through the ranks and 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 um you know to kabhi main yeh bhi sochta tha ki you know ki ye sochna ki mujhe isse bhi zyada kuch karna hai ya kuch different karna hai kyunki na shukri to nahi hai you know it's like you know uh and I remember main aata tha ghar aata tha and every day I would go for uh, a 3 th- mile jog. राइट right. वो इसी यही सोचने के लिए थोड़ा सा डिटॉक्स करने के लिए क्योंकि मैनेजमेंट में आप एक दफ़ा चले जाओ ना आप सारा दिन बस मीटिंग्स करते रहते हो वो सारा लगेज आप घर लेके आते हो तो उसके बाद वो कहीं तो यू नो शेड करना है तो हाँ. वो जॉग पे जाके थोड़ी स्पेस चाहिए अपनी हाँ, हाँ. नहीं वो जॉग पे जाके यू यू नो एंड एंड ऑनस्टली फॉर मी पर्सनली यू नो सम ऑफ द बेस्ट आइडियाज जो दिमाग में आए हैं वो जॉइंग करते हुए आते हैं मुझे मुझे एटलीस्ट तो इट वॉज इट वॉज माई स्पेस टू कैन गेट रेड ऑफ दैट बैगेज लगेज फ्राम द डे एंड ऑल्सो जस्ट थिंक अबाउट यू नो दिस दिस कैन थिंग्स बिकॉज इट्स जस्ट मौसम अच्छा था दरख्त शाखती है वो तो इट्स जस्ट यू नो इट्स इट्स नाइस स्पेस टू रन तो उस पर मैं ये भी सोचता था कि यू नो कि क्या किस तरह सोच रहे हो राइट यू नो इज दिस राइट वे टू थिंक अबाउट इट यू नो सब्र भी करना चाहिए राइट हर चीज़ का अपना वक्त होता है एंड बट पहली वाली चीज़ तो थी और फिर दूसरा ये था कि फिर so um you know my uh i have two brothers um you know they both studied from england um and then uh they also did engineering so we fulfilled our father's wish ke sabne sabne engineering karni thi humne kar liya alhamdulillah engineering um but one of my brothers kind of started like uh uh you know his name is dishan he started all of this um and um uh, he was the one who said out of college uh, these are tough times 2001 2002 he said look uh, the job market is tough so why don't i just uh, you know he talked to our mother and he said why don't i just take a year and do whatever i have to do and phir uske baad job karni to job kar le right england mein england mein right and he kind of started this this whole story started from him right uh, and then fairly soon he told the other brother uh, imran he said ki yaar तो मेरे साथ ही आके काम कर लो हम घर में हैं सो दे कैन स्टार्ट दिस आर ऑफ देयर रूम राइट एंड ओरिजिनली इट वाज एंड सॉर्ट ऑफ रियल एस्टेट एड्स इट वाज इट वाज इट वाज अ इट वाज ई कॉमर्स वेबसाइट इन द यूके बिकॉज़ दे वर इन द लंदन में थे सेलिंग व्हाट सॉर्ट ऑफ स्टफ इट वाज इट वाज बेसिकली अ लिस्ट अ डायरेक्टरी ऑफ होलसेलर्स राइट ओके um so if you want to think about it uh, more like alibaba style hmm. but the uk and that was doing well तो उसका उन्होंने बैक ऑफिस सेट करना था तो क्योंकि टेक उन्होंने कहा कि चलो पाकिस्तान में हायर कर लेते हैं तो लाहौर में दे सेट अप टेक ऑफिस और फिर वहाँ से ये 2005-6 की बात है एंड दे वर जस्ट फोकस ऑन दैट एंड आई थिंक दैट्स व्हेन दे रियलाइज्ड के पाकिस्तान में दे रियलाइज के यहाँ पे लोग प्रॉपर्टी किस तरह खरीदते हैं प्रॉपर्टी तो आपको पता है हमेशा से राइट लैंड खास तौर पर राइट तो Uh, they said, "Okay, internet me to kuch hai nahi yahan pe because UK me the system. So then that's he bought one of the domains, which is now zameen dot com. Uh, and he said, 'Oh no, ne.' Or then he was UAE se bhi guzar rahe the. 
تو دے سیٹ کہ یہاں بھی کچھ نہیں اس وقت یہ دو ہزار پانچ کی بات ہے رائٹ اس وقت ڈبیزل بھی نہیں تھا کچھ بھی نہیں تھا تو انہوں نے کہا انہوں نے کہا کہ یہاں پہ ادھر زمین تو ہمیں سب کو پتہ ہے کیا مطلب ہے رائٹ تو انہوں نے کہا چلو یہاں پہ بیوت وچ مینس ہاؤسز ان عربک رائٹ تو انہوں نے کہا چلو یہ ایک ہی پلیٹفارم بنا رہے ہیں اس کے دو فلیورز بنا کے تھرو اٹ آؤٹ ویل وی فوکسڈ آن آر مین بزنس رائٹ اینڈ اراؤنڈ um around around that time they raised their first investment for zameen and they started focusing more on zameen and we, uk wala business or sari baki aur bahut zyada websites thi they all took a back seat and started shutting down things uh aur ye yahan pe bhi thi right with a very small operation 2012 mein i think maybe do log the ek kuch back office mein pakistan mein kuch log the so Uh, 2013, May, 2013 May, they were visiting uh, the US for a conference. So that's the first time they came to see me. Wait, what did I say? The first time ever? Uh, ever, right? To, in wow. the US, right? So <laughs> we would be flying back. They were coming. Well, after that, I said, look, you know, I, I, I want to kind of, uh, I'm trying to see how it is, how it is, how it is. And then, um, so 2014, May, I said, okay, this is here in Bayute, which is uh, very small. Um, let me come and see what we can get out of it, right? Uh, and, and try to scale it and see what it is. It's a good challenge. At that time, how big was it? What was the size of Beyut and the team? No, uh, I mean, Beyut, the uh, office was total two or three people. Okay. Uh, and uh, in Pakistan, there were some back-end people just for, you know, a little stuff. So really, from scratch, you were building? Uh, I mean, the, the challenge was that at that time, the was at, at its peak. جنرل کلاسیفائڈ میں جس طرح آپ کا پاکستان میں ساری کیٹیگریز ہیں رائٹ پھر آپ کا تھا یہاں پہ ایک پراپرٹی پورٹل بھی تھا ورٹیکل کال پراپرٹی فائنڈر وہ بھی تھے وہ بھی بڑے تھے تو ہم لوگ تو کسی اس کے بعد ایک دو اور تھے اس کے بعد کہیں پہ ہم بھی تھے بیچ میں اسی مکس میں رائٹ اینڈ اینڈ دا چیلنج واز یو نو ایوری بڈی بیکاز یو نو اوبیسلی ذیشا عمران ور بٹ مور یو نو اویئر آف دی انڈسٹری دین آئی واز آئی واز ان اے ڈفرینٹ انڈسٹری تو چیلنج یہ تھا کہ دے ایٹ سیٹ کہ نو نو بڈی ایز ایور ڈسپلیسڈ اے نمبر ون ان دس انڈسٹری ٹپکلی جب آپ لیڈ پوزیشن اسٹیبلش کر لیتے ہو جس طرح امیرکا میں آپ کے پاس کریگز لسٹ ہے یو کے میں گم ٹری ہے تو ایک دفعہ وہ آپ پوزیشن اسٹیبلش کر لو تو اس کو ڈسپلیس کرنا سیکنڈ کی کھیلیں گے تھرڈ کی کھیلیں گے سیکنڈ کی کھیلیں تھرڈ کی کھیلیں فورتھ کی کھیلیں کوئی پوائنٹ ہی نہیں ہے ٹھیک ہے فورتھ ففتھ ڈزن میٹر رائٹ سو نمبر ون از از واٹ میٹرس So I said, okay, that sounds like an interesting challenge. Um, uh, did I imagine that I would sit here and talk about this? Not at all, right? It was more of... We will do something, but... No, one thing was that we will do something. Okay. We will not leave. But where will we reach? That's the God's mercy, right? We will do it, right? Right. Uh, uh, and uh, then, again, you know... Uh, What was the wife and kids' reaction on you coming in and saying, listen... We're going to relocate to a desert. Uh, I mean, you were in a deserty space in the US as well. No, so I was in Austin, which is a very green town. Achha. Yeah, it's, it's, it's beautiful. It's hilly. It's, it's, it's a gorgeous town, right? Uh, but you were very small. Right. Right. Uh, I think if you tell them that you have cousins pass away, okay, you know, that's, that's enough. Right. And they hadn't, I think my eldest was in probably in grade three by then, right? So right. 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 پچھلے آٹھ سال دس سال سے پندرہ سال سے دوست ہیں اینڈ یو نو آئی آنسٹلی ڈونٹ تھنک دس وڈ ہیو بین پاسبل ود آؤٹ دی انکریجمنٹ اینڈ دا سپورٹ آف مائی وائف رائٹ اٹ جسٹ ونٹ ہیو بین اینڈ اینڈ شی سیٹ لیٹس ڈو اٹ آئی سیٹ یا بٹ یو نو یو نو اٹس 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 ناٹ دا سیم اٹس یو نو آئی مین دیکھیں The further in your life that you are, uh, responsibilities are increasing, the money is increasing, so it's not that easy. It's very, it's very easy to keep scaling up from, from an expenditure perspective. It's very difficult to cut back yeah. uh, right? in life generally, right? Uh, and so that was going to be a bit of a, a challenge. And right? the structure may be different. If you have a job, you have a job, 
तो इतना दुबई में डिफरेंस फील नहीं फील नहीं होता आप जॉब छोड़ के असेंशली एक फैमिली बिजनेस में आ रहे हैं ठीक है आप एक रोल में आ रहे हैं बट यहाँ पर जॉब्स के ऊपर आपको ठीक है तनख्वाह मिल रही है मिल रही है साथ आपको बच्चों की एजुकेशन मिल रही है हेल्थ मिल रही है आप अपना जब आप आप आके उस पूरे बिजनेस यूनिट को मैनेज कर रहे हैं तो यहाँ पर आपको चालीस हज़ार दिरम का स्कूल भी फिगर आउट करना है आपने हेल्थ इंश्योरेंस भी फिगर आउट करनी है आपने वो सारा यू नो इट्स लॉट ऑफ योर इंटरनल फिगरिंग आउट एज वेल एज जो जॉब पर करना है वो तो अलग है एंड देन प्रॉबली इन सर्टन वे उस टाइम के ऊपर जो लाइफ स्टाइल आपने वहाँ पर बिल्ड कर लिया हुआ था उसमें कट्स तो डेफिनेटली आए होंगे इन द स्टार्ट बिकॉज यू आर अ फंडेड कंपनी बट अच्छा बिजनेस डायनामिक नहीं देखिए आई मीन इट्स इट्स वेरी डिफरेंट राइट यू वर्किंग इन सो देर देर लॉट ऑफ फैसेट्स टू दिस राइट एक तो ये कि द स्टफ दैट आई वॉज वर्किंग ऑन टेक्निकली वॉज यू नो वेरी एडवांस्ड राइट right i mean the kind of tools that we're building you know cutting I mean, edge, our, our, our cutting edge they, they were they, they've been used in spacex some of our code was written to, to land the rover on mars it's just it is a lot of yeah that so i guess you know if you look at a challenging kind of uh, technically mentally challenging that you know there's a lot of advanced stuff right uh, over there to to ek to ye ke jo portal jo hai it's it's not Um, we'll talk about that a little bit, but it's not technically so advanced, right? It's yeah. not like you're defining. I, I remember back in the day when I was there. Up to here, it's very common. But one of the things we were working on, we were part of the 5G standard definition body, right? Um, now this is before 5G is in everybody's phone, right? So there's a lot of work that actually goes into creating that whole infrastructure and the standard first. First you create the standard, then you create the hardware and the software and all that. Uh, compared to a site that lists properties, right? Uh, it's yeah, you know, <laughs> yeah, it's not the same ball game. Compare right? भी नहीं आकर रहा है नहीं कर सकते, right? Uh-huh. आप, I mean, uh, you know, I used to be writing down equations and working on compilers for taking code and generating uh, cross compilers, etc. उधर से आप आ रहे हो और आपने अच्छा ad बेचना है, right? Uh-huh. So एक तो purely operational business है ना ये वाला. हाँ, and and uh-huh. it's it's ad बेचना, right? And now right. now there's a lot of tech that goes behind it, and we can talk about that, and and it, probably that you know a lot of things that don't meet the eye. Uh, but it's not as as challenging as it right? learned um so ek to ek to wo bhi tha ke acha uh, you know ke ye dimag ko thoda sa udhar se khali karna padega dusri cheez ye thi ke there were certain things that i had never done i never done sales mm. right kabhi nahi ki thi um i didn't even know what it kind of what is sales right i mean i had an idea but how do you run sales right um and then for a you know and then um uh Uh, and then you're also coming into a market where um i remember in the early days i used to get upset oh ek jab pehla sales banda uh, we had the first sales person they would call and they would tell people that yes we are bayuth we are um like the bezel so you have to use um somebody else right <laughs> to explain to the person who you are like this is a calling yeah. a b2b call right like so a business you're calling another real estate agency and you're saying we're like the bezel right right they're like who are you what are you what so it will be challenge that you're coming into an established market and uh, and trying to create space for yourself right so ye ye sari cheez jo thi um they were there and then on top of that we had to generate cash flow so we had to we had to basically we don't have money to burn to jo mahine mein kamana hai wo kharch karna hai aur agar nahi kama sakte to how do you pay salaries uh, how do you pay any marketing costs that you're paying etc right and uh, i think those were some interesting days <laughs> if i put it uh, lightly because jab aapki sale nahi hoti you know and and i i i've i've said this before also ke the lows were the lowest lows that i've ever felt and the highs were the highest highs i've ever felt like right? jab low din hota tha i mean i, I don't know it's, it's it's like somebody has sucked half of the life out of you right uh you can say anyway uh so there was there was a lot of challenges uh but early days mein regrets hote the ke yaar sales nahi ho rahi agar for example nahi nahi alhamdulillah never ke yaar main family ko le aaya hu tension was this the right decision ke ye मसला ये ना कि जो जो पाकिस्तानी मर्द है शायद दुनिया का सर हर मर्द पर पाकिस्तानी मर्द को तो ये बताया गया ना कि भाई तेरे सर पे है तू नहीं चलाना है यू आर द वन हु इज़ गोइंग टू डिफाइन के फैमिली का क्या होगा किस तरह होगा फाइनेंस का क्या होगा सो देर इज़ अ लॉट ऑफ कॉन्स्टेंट रिफ्लेक्शन आपके दिमाग में चल रही होती है कि ये मेरा काम है मैंने उसको मैनेज करना है उस अब डिसीजन आर हाफ चांस आप जो भी ले लें आप जितना भी उसको प्रॉबिलिटी में देख लें चांस हमेशा हिट करेगा Um, लेकिन जब आपके आप कोई बड़ा डिसीजन लेते हैं और उसमें हालात थोड़े आउट होने लगते हैं तो दिमाग इमीजिएटली कहता है कि यार यू नो व्हाट लाइक 
غلطی ہو گئی اچھے بھلے وہاں پہ سیٹل تھے ڈیڈ یو ہیو اینی تھاٹس لائک دیٹ نہیں الحمد للہ مے بی آئی ڈونٹ نو اللہ تعالیٰ نے شاید تھوڑا ڈفرینٹلی پروگرام کیا ہے بیکاز غلطی ہوتی ہے غلطی ہو گئی ہو گئی آگے کیا کرنا ہے سب کشتیاں جلا کر آئے تھے کہ یار اب یہ ہے اور یہ ہے اب کرنا ہے رائٹ سو یو نو مجھے بھی کسی نے کہا تھا یو نو کہ یہ آپ جاؤ تو کشتیاں جلا دو یہ کر دو ریالٹی از کہ اف If you're coming in and your goal is to make it successful, if you're doing something and your goal is to make it successful, you know, you, you need to understand there are no shortcuts. Right? Mm. You can get lucky, sure, right? Well, snake and ladder scale, ladder mil gaya, great, awesome. Mm. Snake mil gaya, well, too bad. <laughs> Start all over again. But you can get lucky, but, but it's, it's a grind. Mm. It is it's truly a grind. And, you know, I, I've, I've always felt that you've come to the same thing. It's a machine that's going to grind, you know, it's, it's going to grind you and one day it's going to chew you out, and, right? And that's okay, right? Uh, maybe the machine won't even exist, right? Uh, you know, obviously nobody intends, everybody intends to build a machine that lasts for a long time, but I don't think, you know, that's, 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 that's a... Uh, How long did, do you think it took for that thought to go away? That the daily grind is, that we have to do it, so we will come, so my account is full. Never, even today, right? Okay. Uh, Me, because, look, uh, I think it became clearer with time. Mm. It didn't go away. It became clearer with time that this is it. It's almost a business is like a living organism, right? It, all things have to function all the time, 24-7. And the moment you stop attending to it, one function is bad, eventually the whole business will collapse. So, you have to think that, oh, I've made it. Uh, you know, the business has made it. Now it's a little relaxed. Now it's going to go on, it's going to go on. Well, good luck with that thinking, right? It doesn't work like that. Uh, right. At least I haven't experienced it. Um, what you do is you say, okay, you know what? I, okay, if, if you are in that mode, if you are thinking along those lines, you, you say, okay, I've gotten it to this point. I am done. It has chewed me out or whatever the case is. Let's get some people. Let's get the new leadership lined up, train them, hand it over. to right. capable leadership, right? Uh, and but the so business, business requires someone to be business, looking at it. Yes, uh-huh. because the moment you stop attending to it, it will die or it will start the journey towards its death. So you, you, you can be tired and you can, get, you can say, okay, I'm done, but the business needs that attention, right? And I have seen this over and over again. If you have to do it over time, it does get easier, don't get me wrong. But But, you know, you, you need that attention. Um, and then you need to understand that success is built by the, by the drops in the bucket, hmm. not just really just getting a, a full bucket, right? I mean, you know, it could be a leaky bucket. So you, you kind of have to keep adding those drops. You have to pay the rent every day, right? Um, because then success is, you know, is, is earned and the, and the rent is due every day, right? Hmm. Makes sense. Right? Um, 2014, May, you were, uh, when, you, when you joined, so this group was largely running on the backs of Zameen, Sure. which was an entity in Pakistan sure. and um, Pakistan was not a concept that startups are not something that happens and this is and it was just this business which uh, was innovating at that time I mean, definitely that uh, uh, business models wise but we saw the corresponding of Zameen in Park Wheels right so um, they had the same category uh, different category but same genre same sure. wo, Park Wheels until now یہی سننے میں آتا ہے کہ یار وہ پروفیٹیبلٹی نہیں کر سکا وہ یوں ہو گیا وہ یوں ہو گیا زمین آن دی ادر ہینڈ ریئلی وینٹ اینڈ ورٹیکلی انٹیگریٹیڈ ان لاٹ آف ایریاز اینڈ انہوں نے کہا یار جو ٹیک نہیں بکھرا پاکستان میں تو ریئل اسٹیٹ تو بکھرا ہے تو ہم ریئل اسٹیٹ میں کیا کر سکتے ہیں اور ہم اس میں کس طرح بلڈ کر سکتے ہیں پھر ایونچولی آج جب ہم گروپ کی بات کرتے ہیں تو ایون میں پڑھ رہا تھا تھوڑا سا ریکان کر رہا تھا کہ کیا ہے تو اس میں نے دیکھا ہر جگہ پہ وہ لکھا ہوا ہے کہ نو سیکنڈ یونیکارن آف دا مڈل ایسٹ دبئی کی یونیکارن دبئی کی سکسیس اسٹوری دبئی انٹرنیٹ سٹی کے سی ای او نے بتایا ہوا ہے کہ یو نو ہماری دبئی کی سکسیس اسٹوری سو سو دا کمپنی ہیز گون فرام دس پاکستان سکسیس اسٹوری ٹو دس سارٹ آف ریجنل اف ناٹ گلوبل سکسیس اسٹوری بیسڈ آؤٹ آف دبئی ٹیل می کہ وہ ایولیوشن کس طرح سے ہوئی اگر میں ہائر لیول پہ کروں یو آر پر دا بورڈ اینڈ سو آئی نو دیٹ یو فار دوز ہو ڈونٹ نو یو لک آفٹر دا مڈل ایسٹ آپریشن رائٹ اینڈ دین آئی بلیو عمران لکس آفٹر دا انٹائر ٹی آف دا گروپ بٹ یو آر پار یو آر پار دا بورڈ اینڈ سو ہاؤ ڈیڈ دیٹ ایولیوشن ہیپن سو لک بیوت کی جرنی شروع ہوئی یہاں پہ رائٹ زمین واز ڈوئنگ اٹس تھنگ یہاں پہ ہم وہ کر رہے تھے زمین ریئلائز ویری کوئکلی کہ دا لینڈ اسکیپ از ڈفرینٹ فرام دا ویسٹ 
right? Zishan and Imran were working on it. They realized very quickly that yeah, this thing that goes there will not go here because our dynamics are very different. Um, in the early days, I mean, I mean, uh, um, आप जाते थे और आप रियल स्टेट एजेंट्स के पास जाते थे आप कहते थे अपनी प्रॉपर्टी लिस्ट करो ऑनलाइन राइट वो कहते थे जी ओके ऑन दैट सो वेर डू यू स्टार्ट राइट वाई वाई शुड बी डू इट नहीं सानू तो यू नो अपनी तस्वीर चाहिए इतने ऐस अखबार बच्चे सो वेर डू यू स्टार्ट राइट एंड दैट्स वाई इफ यू गो बैक अर्ली डिजाइन ऑफ द मीन यू सी अलॉट ऑफ पिक्चर्स राइट विच विच इज लाइक वट आर दीज पिक्चर्स डूइंग ओवर हेयर राइट आप आज भी देख लो आप ये पाकिस्तान से वो आते हैं वो सुपारी के पैकेट होंगे या जो भी होंगे तो तस्वीर बनी होती है इट्स लाइक वट इज आई हैव टू डू विद जो आप खा रहे हो राइट सो दैट्स कैन ऑफ द यू नो वी कम फ्राम अ डिफरेंट कैन ऑफ अ प्लेस राइट सो जमीन रियलाइज वेरी क्विकली ठीक है यार क्लासीफाइड बिल्ड करने के लिए हैव टू बिल्ड लॉट ऑफ इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर एंड वट आई मीन बाई दैट इज के दीज पीपल डोंट are not uh, you know all in on, on putting their ads on the platform so we have to do it for them so zameen ne pura pura ek almost logistics business build kiya hua tha niche jo ja ke aapke literally aap whatsapp ki ya aapke register ki tasveer khinch ke udhar se leke aapki properties load karo ye karo karo they didn't even have computers office mein nahi hote the ab to mashallah sabke paas hain hmm. but pura pehle infrastructure base build karni padi uske baad kuch ek do aur cheeze karni padi uh, you know like लोग तस्वीरें नहीं लेते थे फिर फोटोग्राफी करनी पड़ी जाके और वो सब कर कर के आहिस्ता आहिस्ता करके एंड देन एट सम पॉइंट जमीन रियलाइज किया अच्छा ये बिजनेस स्केल नहीं हो रहा बिकॉज स्केल कर रहा है बट उस पेस पे नहीं कर रहा एंड एंड वी नीड टू कैन ऑफ फिगर आउट कि ये पाकिस्तान में दिस लॉट ऑफ न्यू डेवलपमेंट कमिंग अप जो प्राइमरी आपकी होती एंड हाउ डू वी टेक दैट एंड एंड मेक इट मोर एक्सेबल टू एवरी बडी एंड बाई दैट आई मीन लाइक यू नो make it more trustworthy for the consumers hmm. and then also the agencies they were not selling those new properties right? because developers can't say kitna wo segregation thi wo apna separate there was a mean kind of then solve that problem hmm. and then eventually wo karte karte and then you also realize ki acha we can also uh, uh, do a little bit of this ourselves so there was a mean developments be one gas site pe so it kind of went up and up and up the key to this is uh the key to this success and the, the kind of building up on this and and I've seen it firsthand obviously uh with Zishan uh and Imran running it um is ke there was a lot of focus on monetization mm. from day one um a lot of startups these days uh think about monetization as it's going to come you get we're talking about the days jahan pe aapko paisa hi nahi milta right kisne dalna hai uh paisa right uh, unknown सी टेरिटरी है कंट्री का कोई अमीर कुछ स्टार्टअप सीन भी नहीं है क्यों क्यों कोई पैसा डाले सो वे डू गेट यू डोंट हैव कैपिटल लाइक यू हैव टू जनरेट कैपिटल सो सेल्स पे हमेशा फोकस रहा है जमीन का राइट एंड देन ऑल प्रॉब्लम्स दैट वीव सॉल्व हैव सॉल्व थ्रू टेक्नोलॉजी बट बेस्ड ऑन वेयर वेयर इज द सेल्स टीम टेकिंग अस एंड यू नो जीशान इज रन सेल्स फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम uh and there's a funny story to that also um when they raised their first investment the the person who was coming in said one of you has to run sales and they said who runs sales and i got coin toss karta so that's how right. but, but agar main zameen ka hi puchu before we move to sure. case zameen's evolution to to middle east sure. now because you mentioned this look real estate is a is a tricky business in pakistan it's a it's an incredible business because just the sheer amount of money that moves in real estate in pakistan i think it's unparalleled sure. nothing else compares to that um jo ke hindsight mein agar aaj hum dekhte hain ki yaar obviously successful startup nikalna tha to wo real estate se nikalna tha lekin agar main us time pe jaun na to probably har banda kehta hai ki yaar sabse mushkil to real estate hai because a lot more other sectors are a lot more formalized sure. so for tech to come in and connect themselves with them is much easier ये एक ऐसा सेक्टर है जिसमें um, जो स्टेक होल्डर्स हैं वो बिल्कुल टेक uh, uh, के साथ कनेक्टेड नहीं है अगेन uh, बिल्कुल देसी लोग बैठे हैं ऑन अ ग्रास रूट लेवल प्रॉपर्टी डीलर लेवल um, जो जो आपका वो है व्हाट वुड यू कॉल इट असेंशली जहां पर आपकी ट्रांजैक्शंस हो रही हैं uh, पटवारी लेवल के ऊपर इट्स राइप विद करप्शन इट्स राइप वे फ्रॉड्स लीगल नाइट मेयर है पाकिस्तान में यू नो लैंड एंड वो सारा कुछ इस स्पेस के अंदर घुसना बिकम्स इंक्रीजिंगली कॉम्प्लिकेटेड एंड उसमें तरीके और तमीज़ से काम करना बिकम्स इंक्रीजिंगली मोर कॉम्प्लिकेटेड 
میرا پرسنل ایکسپیرینس پاکستان میں یہ رہا ہے کہ جب آپ منی فرسٹ آنے کا نا منی مانیٹائزیشن فرسٹ آپ مانیٹائزیشن فرسٹ یا منی فرسٹ بزنس میں موسٹلی ہوتے ہیں تو بڑا مشکل ہوتا ہے کہ سیدھا کام کر کے آپ بزنس کر سکیں رائٹ آپ کو کہیں نہ کہیں کارنرس کٹ کرنے کرنے سسٹم ہی ایکو سسٹم ہی ایسا ہے وچ از مور کنڈیوسو کہ جتنا آپ دو نمبر ہوں گے اتنا زیادہ آپ آگے جائیں گے پرسنلی آئی ایو نیور آئی ایو ریئرلی ایف ایور ہیڈ اے ریئل اسٹیٹ پرسن آن اور بلڈر اور دس اور دیٹ آن دا شو بیکاز وہ یہی ہوتا ہے وہ شو پہ آ کے چار باتیں کرتے ہیں بٹ پیچھے سے وہ ہر بندہ ہر کسی کے پیچھے ایک کہانی ہے کہ یار وہ بہت سکسیزفل ہو گیا لیکن چار لوگوں کے ساتھ اس نے یہ زیادتی کر دی اس ایکو سسٹم کو اگر ہم دبئی کی بات کریں دبئی میں جو ایجنٹ ہے وہ ریگولیٹڈ ہے بلڈر ریگولیٹڈ ہے آپ جاتے ہیں جا کے کہتے ہیں کہ یار یہ انویسٹمنٹ ہے آپ کمٹ کرتے ہیں کہ یار یہ اچھی انویسٹمنٹ ہے ہم پروجیکٹ کر رہے ہیں کہ تھرٹی پرسینٹ آر او آئی ہوگا تو نائنٹی پرسینٹ چیزیں گورنمنٹ پروٹیکٹڈ ہیں آپ کو تو ٹینشن کھانے کی ضرورت نہیں ہے بٹ اگر پاکستان ہے سو آئی ریمبر ٹو میں گیا زمین کے پراپرٹی فیئر نیا نیا آپ لوگوں نے اسٹارٹ کیا تھا ایکسپو تھی پاک چائنا سینٹر اسلام آباد میں اور اس پہ زمین کا فلیگ شپ اس ٹائم پہ گوادر کینیڈین سٹی گوادر چل رہا تھا وی ایکچولی باٹ فور پلاٹس مائی فادر باٹ فور پلاٹس فار ہز فور سنس اور وہ مجھے یاد ہے کہ ہم نے کبھی بھی نہیں خریدا تھا گوادر میں بٹ بیکاز زمین واز دا ون دیٹ واز پیئر ہیڈنگ اینڈ دے ور سینگ کہ یہ ایکس وائی زی چیز ہے تو اس کا وہ ٹرسٹ کو ہم نے وہ کیا اینڈ اس وقت سے میرے دماغ میں ہمیشہ یہ ہوتا تھا کہ یار یہ زمین سے لے تو لیا بٹ ہے تو میں نے والے صاحب کو بولا میں نے کہا نہیں زمین ہے اٹس لیجٹ ایسا نہیں ہو سکتا بٹ کانسٹنٹلی میرے دماغ میں یہ ٹینشن تھی کہ یار یہ ایک ویب سائٹ ہے یو نو یہ سب لپیٹ لپوٹ کے بھاگ گئے تو کیا ہوگا تھینک فلی واٹ ویو سین از بائی اینڈ لارج آئی ہیونٹ کم اکراس اینی جیسے کہتے ہیں نا آواز آن سوشلس جو کہ پاکستان کی ہر ہاؤسنگ سوسائٹی کے بارے میں ہے ہر چیز کے بارے میں زمین کے بارے میں الحمد للہ ابھی تک کوئی آواز ایسی نہیں آئی کہ یار یہ انہوں نے یہ پرابلم کر دی ہاؤ ڈڈ یو گائز مینیج ٹو منوور تھرو دیٹ ایکو سسٹم وچ is nothing short of a nightmare. Yeah. I think that would be a great topic for, or a great maybe uh, session that you should do with Zishan and, you know, and, and Ron. They can maybe... Uh, Because uh, Volo is good. Yeah, I'm making a mess. I'll be happy to focus that. But obviously, you know, I, uh, I can share a few things over here. So look, one of the things is, ke, you know, we, um, Alhamdulillah, I think our, our parents have given us very good values, right? Uh, uh, we always strive to do the right thing uh, by everyone. Because if you go forward, you have to give everything. یہاں پہ تو یو نو جو بھی ہے بٹ مین تو وہی ہے رائٹ سو زمین کا یہ تھا کہ فرام فرام ڈے ون رائٹ آئی تھنک وی آر ویری کلیئر آن دس کہ نو بڈی شوڈ بی شارٹ چینج رائٹ نو نو بڈی شوڈ فیل کہ یو نو دے دے گاٹ اے راڈی ناؤ اینڈ اینڈ فار دیٹ زمین جو پروجیکٹس آن بورڈ کرتی تھی جو بیچتے تھے دے واز اے کمپلیٹ آڈٹ آف دا پروجیکٹ بفور سائننگ اپ اے پروجیکٹ Um, all the legal paperwork had to be in place, et cetera, et cetera. All the approvals had to be in place. All of that had to be very, very clean. Um, because those are the kind of things that kind of cause issues later on, right? Okay, what's the case? It's a case, 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 it's a case. You have to think about the average person who buys a property or the, you know, uh, mm. بچاروں کی کسی کی ساری زندگی کی سیونگز ہو سکتی ہیں کوئی آگے فیوچر دیکھ رہا ہے کہ گھر میں موو کرے وہ ملتا ہی نہیں ہے از اے لاٹ آف ایشوز دیٹ کین ہیپن اینڈ اینڈ سو یو نو آلویز ہیڈ آئی مین فرینکلی دے ووڈ گو ڈاؤن ٹو ایون دا لیول آف کیس کیل کی کاسٹ کیا ہے یہ کیا ہے وہ کیا ہے اینڈ اینڈ دے ووڈ چیلنجز لانگ دا وے رائٹ Um, okay, you know, Zameen was kind of the sales function. Obviously, we we're selling third-party projects, but then uh, construction is happening or not happening. And so there's a lot of things that happen. Like, many things don't control on you, right? You don't have it on you. So even exactly. if you want to do the right thing, sometimes things don't pan out the way that Because you'd if, hope. Because if, huh? if, if the developer has different thoughts, right? Yeah. Uh, in Pakistan, this is a very common thing, that if you start one thing, generally, I've seen it, آپ کو کچھ تو تھوڑا فائدہ ہوتا ہے آپ دوسری چیز شروع کر دیتے ہو بھائی اس کو تو ختم کر لیں رائٹ یو نو سکسیس از ناٹ کہ یو نو یہ بگ گیا یا یہ ہو گیا رائٹ سو دس لاٹ آف چیلنجز اراؤنڈ دیٹ اسٹف اینڈ دز اے لاٹ آف ورک دیٹ دیٹس گون اینڈ دز اے لاٹ دیٹس وائی سیٹ دز لاٹ آف ٹیک دیٹ دیٹ یو ول نیور سی دیٹ آئی مین زمین میں تین ساڑھے تین ہزار لوگ آئی مین دز اے لاٹ آف ٹیک دیٹس ان پلیس ٹو میک شیور دیٹ لاٹ آف دیز چیکس اینڈ بیلنسز آر ان پلیس دیٹ یو نو 
the the construction schedule is being adhered to that that jo log khareed rahe hain unki installments aa rahi hain etc there's there's a lot of stuff that happens behind the scenes but again you know we thought that once you they came with with anything in life and i didn't know this coming here but you you take two steps right allah taala koi aur darwaza khol dega up you go into that then you figure out something else and you keep progressing uh hmm. but the intent has to be to move forward right, right. Uh, and then um monetization is important right and 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 figuring out to do it the right way and sustainable way is is a challenge um hmm. um i anybody i who comes to me and you know um and is having a chat about it i always say okay, figure out how you're going to make money because at the end of the day at the end of the day all of this is going to boil down to a spreadsheet and people are going to look at your top line and your bottom line hmm. you might get lucky you might get a valuation here this that whatever at the end of the day nothing really matters and i think we've seen this in the last year and a half hmm. khaas tabe last year jab ye sab kuch crash hua crash hona shuru hua right the only businesses that are standing now are the ones which core fundamental solid foundation right, right? Uh, uh, i want to talk about that as well but pehle mujhe wo bataye coming back to k so so how that evolution of zameen as the core to do bizzle group sure. as so, a core happened so we so i as i said you know um uh zishan uh, and imran were focused on uh the pakistan business it was much larger business but it was a bit small uh us waqt compared to i mean uh so over here the goal was pretty simple it was okay um it was a more of an established market there was a certain way of doing business and hmm. uh it was let's just keep um as i said you know one of the things i didn't know was sales hmm. so um the first we had a sales person when i came here but then the first x number of people that we hired were all sales people and we just had to close enough business to pay the bills uh and and so sari story wants to shuru hoti hai ki we said okay you know this is a target for this year forget 5 years out forget 3 years out whatever this is a target for this year we have to meet these numbers and then we always set aggressive growth goals we said okay ye aisa liye ki hai agla saal usko double karna hai hmm aur fir agle saal usko double karna hai aur fir usko double karna hai aur fir usko double karna hai and and um look uh, you know a lot of a lot of times people say ke idea hona chahiye ye hona chahiye you know we came into like we were doing this in a, a, a in a market we had very strong established players and a leader mm. the bezel right i remember there was a sales person we had and she would go and she would come back and she said yeah i had this meeting and i told the guy you know one day we're going to uh we're going to buy the bezel so i i used to tell her thoda sa soch samajh ke baat kiya karo aise bole ke to bhi achhi baat hai confidence hai bahut achhi baat hai but thoda sa soch ke baat karni chahiye but uh but you know um yeah. and 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 she was very confident which is great um did i ever think at that point in time that that would turn out to be true, true yeah not really right i mean i don't i don't think i was like kya baat thoda thoda th- and the business model here was you are selling uh ad space. space yeah That's so look, it. look the model is 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 you know it's very old right yeah. uh, i think the first ad that ever appeared was in a boston globe right uh back in god knows which century right uh, so the so and then aap dekh lo pakistan mein bhi yahan pe bhi sare ye ads akhbaron mein aate the ha right yahan pe uh, aapka uh, pakistan mein don tha junk ye jitne bhi the unme ads aate the inke har kisi har newspaper ka apna classified section hota tha yahan pe bhi tha gulf news ka classified section tha so this is just a transformation of that age old like ye you know, century old industry into a a uh, digital platform right right um the challenge over here was that people had done it before us so when you're coming in and challenging the incumbents like how do you how do you go about that and uh honestly it's just focus a lot of hard work and persistence um uh people used to i mean nobody even would pay attention to us like ye kon hai ha huh. right um but we gradually kept growing year on year year on year year on year year, year, year. um in the meantime you know uh much of the pakistan business was doing uh, well and the bizzle uh, which was actually founded by uh, two guys from the us back in the day 2005 they had sold the company um to naspers and they had you know first they sold i think maybe a, a certain uh, uh majority share but not complete and then at some point completely checked and out for people who don't know nasper is the one that owns olx yes so right. so nasper is back in the day. olx was started by somebody else and they bought olx right uh 
um, was operating in 80 countries, I believe, or some something like that back in the day when they bought it, long time ago. Mm-hmm. And uh, <coughs> so, when it was in Pakistan, mein, OLX, and the rest the region, mein, Dubizel tha. so what they did was, when they bought it, they left the Dubizel to Dubizel, and the rest of the rest of the rest of the rest of Uh, and Pakistan also OLX and the rest of them are all over the place OLX so it's across the world Indonesia mein, either, either, everywhere um, but gradually the business got our business got larger 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 um, now Dubizel has more than a single category it's not just real estate there are cars and the rest of the household items bhi hain. it's like OLX right? right and you can think about Bayut Azameen and then what the other one is uh, uh, OLX or Dubizel OLX um, but real estate wise we were doing well And um, ek, ek cheez hai, we've also operated in a lot of other emerging markets, right? So the challenges in Pakistan, we've seen in other markets. You go to Indonesia, you go to the Philippines, you go to Egypt, you go to Mexico. Chale jau. I mean, if, if you go into these developing nations where the, as you said, the regulation hasn't developed to a certain point, it's not a regular industry, you know, there's no central body that's controlling all of that, then It's an open field. And you guys were? Uh, yes, we were, yes. We, Where were you at that time? Oh, I mean... Um, uh, different names? Uh, different names. We acquired, like, you know, around 2020, we acquired a few businesses. Thailand was there with Kaidi, which is uh, like Olex. Uh, Indonesia, other places is Indonesia, Philippines, uh, Bangladesh, uh, Mexico. Um, we're still in Egypt. Um, You know, so, so kind of a lot of countries. Spread out, right. Spread out. Um, the, but our business got to a point where we were doing really well on the real estate side. And then we had, in Pakistan, we had figured out how to solve the problem of emerging markets. Right. This, I, I mean, Dubai has done wonderfully well. And, you know, Sarabo system has, everything has. It's more like the Western markets, right? If right. I would say, right? Regulated and all that other stuff. But a lot of the other markets are not. But to be able to scale is a mean... Whereas I think everybody else struggled mm. in all the other emerging markets. They were not able to scale the revenue because they were following a formula book that Joe was from West the West, West, right? It doesn't work, right? right? right. Uh, and I think that's when, so Naspers was, was uh, interested, right? Um, and, um, and that's when the deal happened in 2020 where um, uh, our name was uh, EMPG took over the asset of uh, Naspers. Here mm. it's Dubizel or uh, OLX in the region, Pakistan included. Uh, and then they became a shareholder. And then uh, fast forward a couple of years, we just rebranded the group to Dubizel mm. Group because in the Middle East, it's, it's, it's a well-known entity, right? Uh, uh, this made a lot of sense to people, for people to resonate with. Uh, Makes sense. You guys, um, You guys recently sold off the Pacific Asia side of the business. Um, tell me about that thought. Uh, look, I mean, I think 2022 was a difficult year right. uh, for our space generally. You know, um, anything in the uh, IT space, I would say, uh, saw a lot of... Uh, 2021 was a crazy year. Mm. Everybody was raising money. Also, model, ho na ho. Whatever, like a, a cheap story, yeah, like I just pass this up anyway. And 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 2022 literally flipped, right? Right, uh, very difficult year. And then also, I think, ek jo aap ka jab aap jaake explain karte ho business ko, you need to uh, people get concerned and rightfully so. To you know, ke geographic footprint kya hai, right? Mm. Right, uh, you know, it, it doesn't. This is not the uh, you know, ko ye British Empire nii where the sun never sets. It's just, yeah, you know, it's just like how. close by are the businesses is it within uh travel you know time then then mein sare kaam ho rahe hain etc so these kind of things so it makes a lot of sense to kind of have a more focused approach mm. in the countries where there are big opportunities um and so it was more of a um push in that direction ke okay fine you know um let's do the things that are in our region and do them really really well as opposed to uh, trying everything everywhere or everywhere right and and yeah. and and you know we've learned this through going through this experience ke ye, and you must have seen this with a lot of other businesses that kind of go and you know um, start spreading across the world um, and 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 i think what you really have to focus on is there's only so much cycles you have and where you're going to spend those cycles right right 
Uh, if you're going to dilute it everywhere, then you might be doing disservice to the jo- I think वैसे भी हमने 2022 में हमने strategic retreats उस तरह से देखी हैं बहुत सारे different rocket internet sure. की और बहुत सारों की जो कि जो internet businesses हैं that were very well spread out वो एक point पे again जब 2021 था pump चल रहा था Fed का interest rate zero था तो वो I mean this money that's available is it? you're going to try everything yeah, uh, I mean, फिर eventually वो uh, mergers and acquisitions eventually हमने नजर आने ही थे कि consolidate होना था इस case में um, मुझे थोड़ा सा ये बताइए कैन अगेन मे बी इमरान जीशान बींग फाउंडर्स वुड बी बेटर टू आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन बट डिसीजन मेकिंग जब आप इस लेवल पे कर रहे होते हैं आई नो दैट यू कैज रेज फिफ्टी मिलियन डॉलर्स टू हंड्रेड टू हंड्रेड जो मैंने एक ऑनलाइन पढ़ा अगेन आई डोंट नो कितना वो है बट उन्होंने ये कहा कि जो अभी अभी आपके लार्जेस्ट शेयर होल्डर हो गए हैं वो ओ एल एक्स ग्रुप या वो वो वाला ग्रुप अच्छा नहीं सॉरी ये 150 था uh, 20 uh, 2020 में जब डील हुई थी तब डील हुई थी तो उन्होंने 150 वो क्या था सो दे आर द लार्जेस्ट यस सो दे दे बिकम द 39% शेयर होल्डर एंड ऑब्वियसली उसमें पहले की भी आपकी जो इन्वेस्टमेंट्स हैं वो भी शेयर होल्डिंग्स होंगी और सारा कुछ होगा um, जब साइड से आप देखते हैं ऑब्वियसली कॉर्पोरेट की नंबर्स एंड वो सारा कुछ तो इट मेक्स सेंस बट फॉर इंडिविजुअल्स फॉर ह्यूमंस हु आर एक्चुअली हु बिल्ट कंपनीज राइट सो For Imran and Zeeshan, for example, Zameen and Bayut were their babies. Sure. Um, you know, they uh, were origin stories. These are very interesting decisions. You say that, you know what, I'm, not, I'm gonna let go of the name that I came up with and sure. I'm gonna apply the name sure. which we acquired. Sure. Um, because that makes a better business sure. sense right now. Sure. Uh, or say that, you know, we're gonna merge with this big entity. Sure. So the largest minority शेयर होल्डिंग उनके पास होगी बट हम वो लेंगे एंड देन विल बिकम लाइक अ बिलियन डॉलर यूनिकॉर्न थ्रू दिस सॉर्ट ऑफ पार्टनरशिप यू नो टेल मी द फीलिंग्स दैट वर गोइंग बिहाइंड द सीन्स व्हेन क्योंकि जो पिछले दो तीन साल हैं उसमें यू गाइस हैव कैटापल्टेड टू अगेन यूनिकॉर्न स्टेटस कह लें उसको या प्लेटनम स्टेटस कह लें एंड यू मैंशन अर्ली ऑन के यू डिडेंट इमेजिन के इस पॉइंट तक हम पहुँचेंगे वट वर द फीलिंग्स इन इन uh look i mean i think it's difficult to say, okay um you look at everything as a problem that needs to be solved for right disconnecting uh, the human aspect of uh, it i mean you have to and and i'll tell you this in front of investors and in front of people right emotion emotions can be are seen as a weakness ha- 100% right if you now Also, at the same time, it's it's kind of a double-edged sword because if you don't have emotions, then that's also seen as a weakness. Okay? He's not emotional about the business. Yeah. <laughs> But if you're too emotional, it's not going to work. No, it's not going to work. Yeah, it's 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 how do you know what you're saying what kind of impact is that having on the person sitting across the table um is it going in this direction you have to read the signs and the signals and you know and and, and the tdeeps to figure out ke is this going or, this way right? time pe aapko usko switch karna hai aap zyada prepare karke nahi aa sakte and <laughs> yet being very honest yeah right and truthful right so you don't have to make up nonsense don't do that mm. you know people can call that out i mean i it's it's Anyone so bad experience it's so bad, bad, right huh. it's like it's so it's so obvious please you know anybody who's so try to don't do that huh. always be always be honest always be honest right mm-hmm. but but also try to understand what is other person care about right and do we have something that kind of aligns with that and 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 the reality is that you're not going to have that for everybody that you're going to meet you'd be lucky if you find 3 4 5 backers who will have that mm. and for that you have to knock on a lot of doors mm. uh, it's just simple as that right but when these things happen right and i think we've learned this over the years that you have to keep the emotions checked out um a lot of businesses i, I think struggle because the emotional side kicks in and takes the business in the wrong direction mm. this is not about you it's not about me it's about something larger right apni zaat ko apne side pe nikal le that's the only way you can institutionalize 100% right otherwise i mean otherwise to phir aap dukaan chala le ha jo karna hai kar raat ko sote hue aap bade honge ji main biscuit jo rakhne hai udhar rakhe chai ki patti jo rakhni hai rakhe jo karna hai kare right but aapki marzi hai but but when you have a business where you have other shareholders right where you have where you have people who have a vested interest in the business you you cannot just ignore them yet at the same time you also cannot just let somebody dictate 
what needs to be done because that could also be pretty catastrophic right so but do you think there is there is a model where what you just said is possible um and i'll i'll give you context for why i asked sure. this question pakistan mein i speak to a lot of uh, friends in karachi um jo ke meman hai aur uh, unka ek model hai jisme sure. wo sare ke sare um un, unke walidain ne ek time pe business set kiye um ab succession ka time aa raha hai sure. ab wo pat- 20 फैक्ट्रीज हैं तो वो सारे जो बड़े भाई हैं वो अपने बच्चों को कजन्स को डिफरेंट डिफरेंट फैक्ट्री तोड़ 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 के दे रहे हैं कि यार यू नो हम इसको तुम अपना काम करके चलाओ तो उसे हो ये रहा है कि आपने एक बहुत बड़ा बिजनेस सेट किया जिसमें आप एक बहुत बड़े ग्रुप के तौर पर जाके बाहर से ऑर्डर्स लाते हैं अब आपने वो तोड़ दिया और बस वो रखा हुआ ये कि हंड्रेड फैमिली में ही रहेगा कोई प्रोफेशनल नहीं उसमें आ सकता कोई ये नहीं आ सकता स्पीकिंग टू फ्रेंड माइंड नाइज लाइक यार वाई डोंट यू गाइज इंस्टीट्यूशनलाइज वॉट यूर डूइंग राइट आप उसको शेयर होल्डिंग बनाओ बोर्ड बनाओ सारे कजन्स को बोर्ड में डालो कोई उसमें से अच्छा होगा जो अच्छा परफॉर्म कर रहा होगा जिसको दो फैक्ट्रियाँ मिली हैं एक ही जगह उसको चेयरमैन ऑफ द बोर्ड बनाओ उससे कहो कि यार हम कंसोलिडेटेड काम करते हैं और sure. पूरी दुनिया में जाई करते हैं और उसमें दुनिया ने इन्वेस्टमेंट चाहिए तो परसेंटेज किसी थर्ड पार्टी को भी दे दो sure. पाकिस्तान में अनफॉर्चुनेटली मुझे एक, एक मेजर वजह ये लगती है कि हम क्यों एक सर्टन लेवल से ग्रो नहीं कर पाते बिकॉज ग्रो 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 फिर जो फाउंडर होता है वो बूढ़ा हो जाता है फिर उसके बच्चों के पास जाता है फिर वो तीस साल लगाता है ग्रो करने में फिर उसके बच्चों के पास रह जाता है We're not able to create institutions. That's mm-hmm. on every level in Pakistan, mm-hmm. right? Um, और उसमें जब मैंने उसकी चीज़ को समझने की कोशिश की तो मुझे ये रियलाइज हुआ कि वो एक बहुत फियर से कॉन्स्टेंट फियर से आ रहा है वो फियर से आ रहा है कि यार अगर मैं पीछे बोर्ड में बैठ गया और मैंने एक प्रोफेशनल सी ई ओ लगा दिया तो वो सी ई ओ कुछ कर जाएगा sure. मैं अगर इन्वेस्टर का पैसा ले लिया तो वो आके मुझे कहेगा कि तुमने अब ऐसे करना है वैसे करना mm-hmm. है एंड सो वट यू जस्ट सेट वेर यू सेट कि लेसन यू नीड टू पार्टनर एंड कोलेबोरेट विद पीपल एंड ओपन योर डोरस to and begin to trust people sure. but also be strong enough to be the decision maker sure. and 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 drive the Absolutely. thing the way that you envision it to Absolutely. drive do you think that model is possible i mean look it is right i mean and and the most important thing for that is you have to find the right kind of partners so you got um because this equation is built through trust and trust is earned through the results that you produce right ab ye nahi hai ki aap aaj ek banda aaya hai and they're involved with your business and all of a sudden right i mean or you know they've invested in the business, whatever and then you have absolute trust it doesn't work like that right it takes years to build and 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 the best way to do that and the perhaps the only sorry perhaps the only way to do that is through saying i'm going to do this this year and then delivering on that right right that that is that is how you build trust over the years you don't build trust in a month or two months once that trust is there then that person also trusts you to make the right call hmm एंड एक चीज़ आपको अच्छी तरह समझनी चाहिए कि इवन एज एन इंडिविजुअल आई नो आई एम नॉट द बेस्ट एट एवरी थिंग देर सर्टन थिंग्स दैट आई एन्जॉय एंड आई माइट बी रियली गुड एट देर सर्टन थिंग्स दैट आई एन्जॉय बट आई माइट नॉट बी दैट गुड एट एंड देर सर्टन थिंग्स दैट आई एम जस्ट नॉट गुड एट एंड देर सर्टन थिंग्स दैट आई जस्ट डोंट वॉन्ट डू राइट डू यू हैव दैट क्लैरिटी कि क्या चीज़ें करनी हैं और क्या नहीं करना um, उ, सारा जो बात जो घुमा फिरा के आ जाती है ना suppress your ego leave it out emotions be so attached hai sab kuch uske sath attached hai just park it aside um sometimes you need it so you know you, you need to bring it back just just to make sure that you stay in a healthy place of balance uh but most of the times you you keep it out of the door and then you just need to make sure that you you you, you partner up with the right kind of people um who have the right intention who have the right value system um a lot of times when you meet with investors they'll tell you and the good ones will tell you we invest in people and they're true mm-hmm. uh, i mean that's 100% true when they're saying that uh, and i you know you need those kind of partners that that who invest in people right because it's it's at the end of the day agar aap bhi kisi mein aap kisi mein invest kar rahe ho ab kya dekhoge mm-hmm. yeah aap track record dekh sakte ho right but us tak to abhi to shuru shuru ke dena hai to kya track record dekhoge you going to look at the person right or Uh, I I feel that that's where honesty matters you know it's you know showing you know just going and saying it mai ye kar dunga mai wo kar dunga baaton se nahi hota ha nahi hota right it doesn't work then people are old enough to kind of see through that stuff makes uh, sense um is work jo dubezel group ki jo multiple platforms hain unka jo model hai mina region mein particularly is it still based on ads yeah did you vertically integrate other models the um, way the main did in pakistan so i think on the property side it's purely ads right uh on the car side um since you know since uh, we took over uh we have slowly been incorporating um you know kind of a full service model where 
एज ए कंज्यूमर इफ अगर आप गाड़ी बेचना चाह रहे हैं तो यू कैन कम टू डिजन यू कैन लिस्ट इट योर सेल्फ फिर आप ठीक है जो भी उसके आगे जो सारे वो खुद ही करें काम जितना करना है और वी कैन सेलेक्ट फॉर यू राइट नाउ वट वी डू बिहाइंड द सीन्स यू नो वी कैन विल विल लिस्ट द कार विल इंस्पेक्ट इट विल गेट एन इंस्पेक्शन रिपोर्ट विल लिस्ट द कार विल टेक ऑल द कॉल्स विल शो दैन द कार um and then one day we'll find a buyer and we'll try to get you the best price we're very transparent wo jis din aapko mil jayegi gaadi sorry buyer mil jayega aap usko gaadi bech denge aap bata denge ye aapki price thi is pe hamari ye success fee hai right so that model exists right sometimes when we see ke acha ye gaadi hai and dealers because we have a large dealer network they're looking for it we might try to auction it to them um you know and then sometimes if it makes sense uh could be if if it does then sham shayad gaadi khud khareed le but we do that at a very very small scale typically what we're trying to do is we have a managed service ya hum dealers ko auction kar de ya kar de try to get you the best price some people are saying ki mera jaldi hai chalo phir auction kar dete hain but you you're, you're standing in the middle and you're making sure ke jitne bhi stakeholders hain hum unki processes ko optimize kare you're not necessarily saying ke um मेरे पास इतने डीलर्स आ रहे हैं वो अपनी गाड़ियाँ कर रहे हैं तो वाई डोंट आई गेट इन टू अ डीलरशिप आल्सो एंड देन मेरे पास इतने वो आ रहे हैं तो वाई डोंट आई गेट इन टू जिस तरह जमीन ने पाकिस्तान में किया ही है राइट सो दिस हॉ के यार यहाँ पर इनफिशेंसी एग्जिस्ट करती है आई दर आई कैन हेल्प दैम बी मोर एफिशेंट बट दे हैव अ लॉट ऑफ फ्रिक्शन तो मैं खुद से ये कर लेता हूँ इस प्रोसेस को वो चीज़ें आपने यहाँ नहीं देखें यहाँ कंज्यूमर जो है कुछ कंज्यूमर दे जस्ट डोंट वॉन्ट सेल टू डीलर राइट राइट दे रॉदर सेल दम सेल्स राइट आप लिस्ट कर दें बट दे डोंट वॉन्ट द हेड एक ऑफ यार मुझे ये बार बार मेरा फोन बचता जाएगा यू नो मुझे लो बॉल ऑफर्स आएंगी और ये होगा और वो होगा और होगा यू डोंट वॉन्ट डील विद इट वी कैन सो वी आर वेरी फोकस्ड ऑन द कंज्यूमर राइट राइट अब जिसने नहीं बेचनी डीलर को उसने नहीं बेचनी आपने जो करना आप कर लें जिसने खुद बेचनी है उसने खुद बेचनी है जो कहता है कि ठीक है आई डोंट माइंड पेंग द कन्वीनियंस फी आप ले लें आप बेच दें बट मुझे बेस्ट प्राइस ला के दें क्योंकि डीलर मुझे बेस्ट प्राइस शायद ना इनकी सोच ऐसी होती है कि डीलर मुझे नहीं देगा क्योंकि वो अपना बनाएगा कट फाइन विल सॉल्व विद आउ वे अगर आपको थोड़ी अर्जेंसी है वो ट्राई टू सॉल्व इट फॉर दैट इक्वेजन एसेंशली वो जस्ट ट्राई टू सर्व द कंज्यूमर एंड योर योर फी इज परसेंटेज बेस्ड यस इट्स अ परसेंटेज ऑफ द इट्स योर इंटरेस्ट टू सेल इट फॉर द मैक्सिमम वैल्यू दैट एंड वी आर वेरी ट्रांसपेरेंट विद इट कि ये फी है आपने नहीं साइन करना आप खुद बेच लें राइट नोबडी इज स्टॉपिंग यू बट अगर हम करेंगे तो ये हमारी फी है एंड वी आर वेरी एंड वी विल ट्राई टू गेट यू द बेस्ट प्राइस बिकॉज़ द मोर वी गेट फॉर यू द मोर वी मेक एंड यू नो सब सामने है um so we've we've ventured into that a bit uh you know and um um that's that's interesting uh, i mean it's the, the thing is ads business is is fairly low um operational costs right um but this kind of business requires a lot of operational strength um mm-hmm. and uh and then we're looking at other things you know um uh as i said it's primarily uh, an ads business uh but we've tried a, in a couple of other categories we tried to do end to end service kisi ne phone bechna hai I was trying to make sense of ke kis tarah dynamics kaam karte hain you also need to realize in a platform like dubizel there's a lot of consumers mm. and there's also what you would call middle people or brokers or whatever right the jo cheeze leke aap se leke aage khud bechne ke make a buck or two so it it actually provides a livelihood to a lot of people who actually use it as a business as well mm. so wo bhi ek category hai right upper end mein obviously professionals hain jo dealerships hoge so there is kind of amateur to professional har kisam ka aapko banda mil jayega या बिजनेस मिल जाएगा सो वी ट्राइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड कि तीनों स्पेसिस में लोग किस तरह ऑपरेट कर रहे हैं इनकी क्या नीड्स हैं एंड व्हाट कैन वी डू फॉर देम राइट एंड वी नीड टू स्ट्रेंथन ऑल ऑफ दोस राइट एंड इन टर्म्स ऑफ जिस तरह ओरिजिनली जो है वो एक परसेप्शन ही जाता है कि दिस इज अ सेकेंड हैंड मार्केट प्लेस राइट बट अब वो हो इस तरह से गया है कि जिस तरह मैं हूँ मैं अगर पाकिस्तान से आया हूँ या sure. बहुत सारे दुबई इज अ बिल्डिंग पीपल आर ट्रांजेक्शन टू ऑल द टाइम सो सेकंड हैंड तो है ही है बट sure. जब मैं आता हूँ और मैं आके कहता हूँ कि मुझे गाड़ी खरीदनी है sure. um, तो मुझे इवन uh, अगर ब्रांड न्यू भी खरीदनी है ना तो मुझे मसला इस वक्त ये है कि मैं डुबेजल में जाता हूँ सेकंड हैंड मार्केट को समझने के लिए और जब मैं ब्रांड न्यू के लिए जाता हूँ तो टू बी वेरी ऑनिस्ट मैं पर्सनल प्लीज 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 मुझे पर फर्स्ट हैंड की जो पाकिस्तान में ईज है ना जो पाक वीज की ईज है कि यार मैं पाक वीज में जिस वक्त लैंड किया हूँ उसमें मेरे पास फुल स्कोप ऑफ द इंडस्ट्री मेरे पास वहाँ पे अवेलेबल है अच्छा यहाँ पे मैंने वो देखा कि यार डू बिजल आई वॉज कॉन्स्टेंटली डू बिजलिंग इट दिमाग में चढ़ जाता है बट न्यू के लिए मुझे जाना पड़ा लेफ्ट राइट एंड सेंटर एंड टू बी वेरी ऑनस्ट वो प्लेटफॉर्म्स बहुत दिनों हुई हैं लाइक वहाँ पर आप जाते हैं वो आपको प्राइस नहीं मिलती वो कहते हैं हर चीज़ में वो कहते हैं ई मेल एड्रेस डालो वो आपको टाइन करने की कोशिश करते हैं लीड फिशिंग लीड फिशिंग बहुत ज़्यादा हो रही है 
एंड um, मुझे कॉन्स्टेंट ये हुआ कि यार वाई आई आई डेंट नो यू गाइज रन डूबेजल अल्लाह का करिश्मा ऐसा हुआ कि हम बैठे हैं उस टाइम मुझे था कि यार मैं डूबेजल वालों को बोलूँ कि भाई कितना मुश्किल है जाके नई लिस्टिंग इस पर डाल दो sure. और मुझे जो वो डीलरशिप की वेबसाइट है उस वेबसाइट पर ना जाना पड़े मैं आपके पास हूँ आप मुझे बताओ नई गाड़ी की ये प्राइस है अवेलेबिलिटी क्या है मुझे वहाँ पे अवेलेबल होनी चाहिए डीलरशिप से आपका काम नाम होना चाहिए इधर से मेरा बैंक कनेक्ट होना चाहिए और मुझे वो भी पता लग जाना चाहिए कितनी प्राइस के ऊपर कितना वो करके हो जाए वेर इन द ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट सेंचुरी राइट वाई इज़ दैट कम्पोनेंट मिसिंग एट दिस पॉइंट लुक एक तो आई मीन दट समथिंग वी बी लुकिंग एट uh you know in, in full transparency right uh um because i understand again you know when we look at these pain points uh, you know as i said we try to understand the consumer or your right uh ek ek cheez i mean i'm not going to use this in, as an excuse but um abhi hame jo relatively sh- it's a fairly short period abhi abhi 3 saal bhi nahi hue but right so 3 saal ho gaye but but there's a lot of stuff that we had to kind of address and 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 the first focus was to get the things that were out of shape into shape and optimize bit, and cut the fat and huh? that no 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 us se zyada wo ye ki jisna divisible pay you know like we've launched verified accounts right um we started this exercise a while ago because log uh, you know you hear about scams happening and all that and we want to want to stop all of that right right so we're trying to create a more trustworthy marketplace uh and uh ye to phir bhi gaadiyan jo hain because it's professionals dealing hmm. with it or it's itna jyada baaki baaki categories mein zyada hota hai right where it's not as regulated let's say as the real estate or the cars maybe industry uh uh to us pe zyada shuru mein focus raha hai ab is tarah focus aa raha hai ke you know um uh and and you're going to see some stuff uh coming soon where we're we're going to address this because the the point is as a consumer you learn on the bizzel you have the app then everything should be accessible mm. right S- second hand or new doesn't really matter like you you have a consumer you have a need kyunki ab 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 wo center point ban gaye na wo super app banna shuru ho gaye hain jisme you jiski requirement hai wo pehle aapke paas aa raha hai to uski har kisi ko usko mein sirf jagah pe guide kar raha hai aur wo agar jagah hai hi nahi ha to wo to lala land mein ja raha hai fir pata nahi kahan ja raha hai absolutely in terms of the smaller um, sized items like let's say mobile phone hai um, second hand mobile phone mein jata hu to bazar ke upar wahan pe mujhe nazar aata hai uh, main ek deal karta hu um, wo kya cash deal mein hoti hai ya main website ke through payments kar sakta hu nahi uh, abhi to website ke through payments nahi hai theek hai dekhiye is is thing industry mein do kism ke model exist karte hain ek to ye hai ke buyer and seller right jo bhi you know they're in, in independent uh, but Uh, mostly a um how you transact is left up to you okay the buyer and the seller right um dusra hota hai which which we uh uh call pay and ship or kind of an escrow account right where craigslist sort of a situation uh, right? i don't know if craigslist has this but there's a few other platforms in the world that do this usme hota hai ki you as the uh, as the buyer say i'm interested in buying this you make a payment it goes into kind of an escrow space um and the seller has to ship the item you receive the item you acknowledge the the, the you know the receiving the item item and it's everything is okay and the money gets released right, right. Uh, and if you're not happy you ship it back and the money comes back right so that's something also also that we're looking into to ease and facilitate that that works out well in larger markets which are geographically dispersed chakar yahan pe ki dubai uh, is is very accessible for everybody right yahan se udhar chale jao udhar chale jao to ship ka jo concept jo hai na mujhe actually jo payment se zyada na mujhe mere liye shipping important thi i'll tell you why sure. um again so for someone who comes in uh, early on wo pehle 3 mahine mein na apna system set kar raha hota hai usne apna ghar ka system karna hota hai exactly, usne apne right. equipments wagaira lo jo items hai. right furniture ho gaya ye ho gaya right. acha jab aap second hand market mein ja rahe hain to aap more often than not kya kar rahe hain ki aap keh rahe hain ki yaar mujhe sofa khareedna hai ya mujhe koi light sure. khareedni hai sure. to mujhe डील uh, मिले मुझे सस्ती जो चीज़ दो हज़ार धर्म की है वो सडनली दो सौ ढाई सौ धर्म की आ जाए लेकिन डील तक मैं पहुंच जाता हूं फिर मुझे वो कहता है कि यार मैं तो एक्चुअली बैठा हूं शारजा में राइट sure. right? और आइटम मुझे समझ आ गया आइटम मैंने ले लिया मुझे उसमें कोई इतना कोई बैठ के देखने की ज़रूरत नहीं थी लेकिन मैं इस वजह से बैकआउट करूँगा क्योंकि मुझे तभी तो मैं नया आया हूँ मुझे तो डेढ़ रुपये का नहीं पता मैं अगर कैब करा के वहाँ पर जाता हूँ तो दो तो मैं उसके ऊपर मजीद दूँगा तो यहाँ पर एक 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 पेन पॉइंट इस तरह से रिड्यूस होता है कि यू नो यू कैन थियोरेटिकली वर्क विद द राइट लॉजिस्टिक्स पार्टनर्स विच कैन से कि लेसन ओके आपकी डील कंफर्म हो गई सही है वो लॉजिस्टिक्स पार्टनर वहाँ से उठाएगा वो यहाँ पर डिलीवर करेगा और वो 200 की चीज़ लेट से 300 की भी हो जाएगी लेकिन मुझे खप नहीं है मेरी सर वरना मेरी तो ये था कि अगर कर भी मैं सकता हूँ तो मुझे तो पता ही नहीं था मैं तो अभी आया था मुझे था यार मैं 
टैक्सी में लेकर आऊंगा यहाँ पे ट्रक किस तरह होता है पाकिस्तान में ट्रक का अड्डा होता है उसको आप जाते हो या कहते हो यार पाँच सौ रुपये यहाँ भी खड़े होते हैं भाई बट वो नए बंदे के लिए सो मेरे लिए उसका वो था कि सेकेंड हैंड मार्केट को अगर आप जो डिलीवरी फैसिलिटेशन हो जाए कंसिडरिंग के ऑलरेडी लास्ट माइल बहुत ज़्यादा एग्जिस्ट करते हैं सो यू रियली हैव टू टेक कनेक्ट द टैक्स दैट कोड एक्चुअली क्रिएट अ लॉट ऑफ ईज इन 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 डूइंग दैट बिजनेस again as i said you know we're looking into these things because this is a pain point uh, for anybody who's ordering stuff it's a bigger item larger item uh, and even if it's not a larger item it's just a matter of convenience right so if i if i order something i don't i don't feel like going over there i don't mind paying a certain shipping fee that's fine i don't want to leave the house okay fine um there's certainly there's things that we're looking at as i said you know we had to kind of focus on a couple of other initiatives and these are also uh it's not rocket science it's it's uh, but we just have to take things uh, makes sense, uh, makes sense. but through the conversation we change karunga we're at we're at the 1 hour 27 sure. minute mark as well so 10 15 minutes i'm going to wrap this up as well um i want to hear your thoughts on aapne thodi se pehle ye zikr kiya ke um 2021 ek certain saal tha 2022 uska bilkul flip tha puri duniya mein tha pakistan sure. more so um aap jab dekhte hain pakistan ko as a startup डेस्टिनेशन सो ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन में ना हमने हम थोड़ा सा बह गए थे इमोशंस में एज अ कॉम जिसमें हमने ये मान लिया था कि जी अब तो पाकिस्तान की इकॉनमी का जो सेवियर है वो है ही स्टार्टअप्स और ये बड़ी बड़ी स्टार्टअप्स आएंगी और बड़े बड़े नंबर्स आएंगे और बिलियन डॉलर्स की वैल्यूशन आएंगी एंड एंड देन इवेंचुअली ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू में जब वो रिवर्स होना शुरू हुआ तो लॉर्ड ऑफ आस स्टार्टेड टू स्टडी द फंडामेंटल्स एंड एंड मेरा उसमें जो पर्सनल थाट प्रोसेस है वो ये है कि पाकिस्तान एज एन इकॉनमी इज़ वन दैट ड्रेन्स ट्वेंटी बिलियन डॉलर्स ए ईयर जो कि वो लोन्स की मद में पूरा करता है क्योंकि एक्सपोर्ट्स इतनी नहीं है रेमिटेंस इतनी नहीं है इम्पोर्ट ज़्यादा हैं उस कंट्री के अंदर जब आप कहते हैं कि जी मैं बस अगर कंज्यूमर को एक दफ़ा ले आऊँ तो मैं बीस साल बाद टोटल एड्रेसबल मार्केट के अंदर इतने खरब रुपए बना लूँगा Um, that doesn't make a lot of sense because वो बीस साल की जो ट्रेजेक्ट्री है दैट शुड शो ग्रोथ डॉलराइज टर्म्स में जो कि वो ग्रोथ नहीं शो कर रही एंड सो टू 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 इमेजन के स्टार्टअप्स कैन कैन वर्क वेल इन पाकिस्तान एट दिस पॉइंट इन टाइम साउंड रादर वो फैंटसी दिखती है नॉट सेंग के स्टार्टअप्स होना जरूरी नहीं है बट कर्व होता है ना हर चीज़ का कर्व चल रहा होता है पूरा एक्सपोनेंट आता है आई डोंट थिंक वेर एट द एक्सपोनेंट नॉट इवन क्लोज मे बी टेन ईयर्स फ्राम नाउ अगर हम बाकी मार्केट्स देखते हैं इंडोनेशिया इंडिया अलॉट ऑफ अदर मार्केट्स वहाँ पर पहले कोई इंडस्ट्री की बेस बनी हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी बिलियन डॉलर्स की इंडिया की आई टी की सर्विस की इंडस्ट्री है जिसकी बैक के ऊपर डॉलर आता है और फिर उस डॉलर को घुमाने के ऊपर आप स्टार्टअप का वैल्यूशन निकालते हो पाकिस्तान में एक तो जिसना आपने कहा कि पूरी दुनिया में जो नेगेटिव था कि बस ग्रोथ 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 पंप एंड ग्रोथ रेवेन्यू बाद में देखा जाएगा बट इवन इफ रेवेन्यू इज जनरेटेड मुझे नहीं लगता कि वो स्केल पोटेंशियली एट दिस पॉइंट इन टाइम रीच हो सकता है कंसिडरिंग दी दी इकोनॉमिक इंडिकेटर्स दैट पाकिस्तान हैज वॉट आर योर थाट्स ऑन दैट एक तो जो आपने बात की ना वो डॉलराइज राइट द थिंग इज यू गो एंड यू रेज डॉलर सो द पर्सन who's giving you the money or the institution or whoever is giving you the money wants their returns in dollars so that's a big challenge right mm-hmm. when you have and and, and we've seen this uh, in in many other countries where if the currency devalues against the dollar all of your growth is kind of wiped out or most mm-hmm. of it is uh, it just depends on what the you know you, there's plenty of examples you can look around on a map uh, in the region uh, also to ek to wo bada challenge hai um i think the other thing is i think look a lot of this is based on um i think what you saw in 2021 was you kind of started feeling that ke okay, the belief is kicking in into pakistan ke okay, it's a large country i mean it's mm. 250 million people mm. uh, that's that's uh, <laughs> <laughs> mujhe pata pehli number kitna hai but uh, <laughs> but it is a large number yeah, yeah. right and 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 a very young population so if you think about 10 15 20 years out they're going to do something yeah. kuch to karenge kuch to aapke economic indicators improve karenge because aapki base itni badi ho gayi hai uh so uski wajah se thodi excitement ho gayi zyada ho gayi jo bhi ho gaya ho gaya um you know um but uh i think generally speaking as, as just an, as, as an observer also um my individual uh, opinion at least was ke 
kuch thoda zyada ho gaya right uh, it's that's not good for uh, an ecosystem but these things happen in the right. early days money is going to be spent and wasted and all that right but uske liye sabse important cheez ye hai ki ek to if you, you need to understand ki a lot of the funds who invest they typically have a seven year cycle five year seven year right to you know wo kahan se shuru kare ki jab unko lage ki acha ji saat saal baad main jo hai apna paisa nikalna hai to main kaise nikalunga aur paisa nikalunga hi kaise you know um you know maybe uh, may- maybe by getting companies listed more on the psx or something like that you know that would create liquidity right uh, and then those kind of things so uh, uh, and and locally i don't know kitni companies focused on to kind of take that route right Because you have to create liquidity for investors um but most importantly i think you kind of have to have a generally good story about a country or a region right and and i think that's where everybody needs to focus you need to tell a positive story you need to kind of mm. से के जी के ढाई सौ मिलियन बंदा है ये नहीं कि बीस साल में कुछ हो जाएगा इसलिए पाँच साल में क्या होगा बीस साल में जो भी होगा वो वो तो हो ही जाएगा नो बडी इज बहुत आपको पैसे देते हैं वो बंदा ही नहीं सोचा अच्छा ठीक है बीस साल बाद मुझे बताना यार इट डजेंट वर्क लाइक दैट राइट लुक आई स्टिल माई पर्सनल ओपिनियन ऑन दिस इज आई स्टिल बिलीव के इट्स अ लार्ज कंट्री देर इज देर इज इट्स अ लार्ज बेस um we need more brain gain than drain uh we need people to come back uh and for that the right you know um uh environment has to be there for people to come back and give back and you've noticed this with india and other places where a lot of the experts are coming back and and starting up this whole thing you go to the west you learn a few things you come back you don't even have to go to the west these days kids are very smart uh, you know they're mm. capable they're, they're good institutions education should be a primary focus um and uh, we need a couple of good stories to come out uh, of pakistan do you right? think if you had like uh, su- tech success wise right uh, every, everybody has a ek ek apna jo aapne investment ka portfolio hota hai usme 10 15% a few money pada hua hota hai jo crypto mein jata hai generally if you had that money would you invest in pakistan today in let's say bahut chote ticket size ke andar kya main khel ke dekhta hu kya hoga पचास that you're a superstar right come down from that platform right again wo aapne jo bola tha ki ego ki battle se hatke uh, because huh. people somehow you know ke ji ye ho jayega wo ho jayega right i mean and and frankly agar pichle 2 saal mein dekh le to jo tech ki kya i mean which business has uh evolved uh, uh to a point where you would say ke acha theek hai yaar they have delivered on uh, and maybe there are some right but but generally what i've when i've talked to some friends who have, have been looking um their response has been ke founders ka thoda sa jo hai na they need to kind of be realistic um and then then people wouldn't mind spending a smaller ticket size but when when you get any sort of uh attitude um that's where people get ticked off right uh, mm. and 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 honestly um it, it would be a it would be a complete fallacy to uh, fallacy to think ke आप इसी एटीट्यूड साथ यूएस में भी जाके कर सकते हो मे बी इक्का दुक्का कोई केस हो जनरली यू जस्ट नीड टू बी वेरी हम्बल एंड रियलिस्टिक अबाउट एंड दैट्स माय ओपिनियन एट लीस्ट मेक सेंस मेक सेंस यू मेंशन लिस्टिंग ऑन पीएसएक्स आई अगेन आई रेड समवेयर कि यू गाइस आर लुकिंग टू आईपीओ समटाइम नेक्स्ट ईयर यू यू हायर्ड सिटी ग्रुप और और समवन अगेन आर्टिकल ने लिखा हुआ था पहले तो मुझे ये बताइएगा उसी आर्टिकल में ये भी मेंशन था कि यू आर द सेकंड यूनिकॉर्न आउट ऑफ द मिडिल ईस्ट इज दैट करेक्ट एट दिस पॉइंट इन टाइम सो आई कैंट कमेंट ऑन द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन अम एंड और आई वांट कमेंट ऑन द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन लुक ये जो यूनिकॉर्न आई मीन आई डोंट नो हाउ मच वी हैव एवर बॉदर्ड विद दैट अगेन मैं इसको फ्लिप करता हूं मैं ये कहता हूं कि अम करीम एंड डुबिजर ग्रुप के अलावा If you were to list five of the top interesting new age tech sure companies, what would they be? So they can. Um, uh, I think the the it's it's difficult, right? Because if you look at there's you know there's Talabat, which is owned by Delivery Hero. Hmm. Okay. Uh, Karim is there, but that's owned by Uber. 
Mm. Uh, now they've done the Karim super app thing. Okay, that's maybe that that's separate, right? Uh, if we just go through the kind of the landscape, right? Uh, noon hai, right? Uh, that's there. Uh, noon standalone. Hey, yahan par ya, be. I think it's in Saudi and here it's it's its own standalone, right? Uh, right. At least my understanding is it's its standalone, right? So they they certainly would be a good candidate, um, uh, probably because you they have a big operation in Saudi, Egypt, so they kind of spread out in in the region as well, right? Uh, competing against Amazon, uh, Apka, um, um, you have. Uh, Dusra delivery, but that's that's again that's from outside. Uh, you know, uh, it's, it's a bigger, probably a bigger business uh, elsewhere. Um, where there, I mean, that's scale. That's pretty much that's, it. That's uh, interesting, right? There's uh, 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 there's not a lot of, and you guys are in 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 Minap right now. Yes, right. Con kaun si countries mein iswet operational? So we are operational in GCC. Take care. Right. So all. Uh, uh the bizzle is uh, uh uh at a at different levels of let's just say um focus or mm. <laughs> you know um generally uh, i mean if you'll find a site uh, for for all the countries uh you'll find us in egypt uh lebanon and then uh you'll find us in uh, pakistan with olax as a mean right um so that's kind of the remit right now and M- morocco yeah us side pe aap log um that 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 business we uh Uh, we had a business in Morocco, but it's not with us anymore. Yeah. Makes sense. Um, pehla question, though, I understand. You didn't do that. If I connect with that, then I'll do that. If someone like... Because I haven't seen it yet. And I haven't heard of... Uh, Nadia or I haven't heard of... A business here. Because you said that... One... Startups ki understanding ye hai ki yaar aap kuch karoge, build karoge and you'll sell it off to the next one, right? So mostly wo exit ke upar chal rahe hain. Kareem did the same thing ki unhone wo kiya and then eventually sold it off to Uber for three billion dollars, I believe. Um, sure. Exits wali jo strategy hai, uska mujhe personally problem ya aata hai ki that usme na pump and dump ki opportunity bahut zyada khul jati hai. It's just about ki aap agle seller ko kitna acha pump karke bata rahe ho. Sure. Um, IPO on the other hand is a lot more driven by fundamentals. Yes. Um, एंड जो मेरी अंडरस्टैंडिंग है पीपल दर आई स्पोक टू जो करीम की जो नई सुपर ऐप स्ट्रैटेजी है वो भी यही है कि देर गना स्केल दैट एंड एवेंचुअली देर गना गो फॉर एन आई पी ओ दिस टाइम अराउंड फॉर फॉर दैट पर्टिकुलर थिंग इज डू यू थिंक और बेस्ड ऑन द नरेटिव अराउंड यू आई पी ओज जब होना शुरू होंगे इस रीजन के अंदर तो वो क्या मिडल ईस्ट में ही होंगे या वो न्यूयॉर्क स्टॉक एक्सचेंज जाएंगे या वो लंडन जाएंगे क्या मिडल ईस्ट की स्टॉक चेंज मार्केट इतनी मेचोर है एंड उसमें भी जब हम मिडल ईस्ट की बात करें इट्स लॉट ऑफ इट्स अ बिग एरिया सो क्या सऊदी की स्टॉक मार्केट है या यू नो यूएई की स्टॉक मार्केट है व्हाट हाउ वुड यू सी द द लुक आई थिंक एक जो चीज़ है जनरली द ट्रेंड इज की when people go outside of the region and list mm. at least if you just look at the numbers they they don't get the value nor the premium right because they're unknown Uh, you know you're listing uh, in, in the US or you're listing in the UK who who are you, you you're in southeast yeah. asia or but dubai wale ko to pata hai na ki dubai zila kya scene hai wo wahan pe to kya pata dubai zila kya hai you have nothing to do with this place aapko bhi aaye bhi nahi uh, and uh, so so generally those companies haven't fared that well on those stock exchanges because again it's it becomes purely a numbers game and you know they don't necessarily understand the context and right uh perhaps i mean um uh you know if if you're listing it like if somebody's listing in the UK and they're from Europe that that might make more sense or if from Latam and you list in the US that still makes, makes a bit sense, more yeah. sense right? but it's part of the world say and the other thing is um but and 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 then you know and there's a couple of large stock markets here right uh so Saudi is very well um 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 respected or, or grow, or, grow, yeah. i mean it is it's liquid it's it's, it's mm. growing well um uh UAE is on this path you must have seen there's a lot of announcements of uh IPOs and you're trying to get that momentum inertia built right inertia built to to kind of get it rolling but the best typically the best place to i mean the common sense would suggest the best place to list is Saudi uh, or no UAE? no just generally wherever you are wherever you are right okay. right because that's makes where sense. people understand the brand and that's where people understand a lot of things right makes sense um and uh and 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 i think your other question was generally i think on the region mein aap kya dekh rahe hain uh you know ki kis tarah evolve karengi i think there's a very very clear focus 
at least from what we see from the government over here locally to get these markets into a healthy place where there's enough liquidity, there's retail participation. Um, um, individuals participate kare, and that's how you create liquidity, right? When mm. mutual funds or whatever, they take it and keep it. They're long term. Uh, the most of your trading is that mutual funds are not being traded. The most of retail investors, retail hai. investors, kare hai, right? Um, and 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 I think the generally, I think what we what we've seen is that there's just a lot of interest in the region, also, right? Um, it's 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 dollar pegged, um, uh, doing well, um, a lot of. A lot of infrastructure development, construction. How focused are you on uh, on the Saudi market? I I saw that they have announced that in 2023, they have announced that 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 they have डेफिनेटली इस रीजन की तो बहुत बिगेस्ट होगी उसमें उन्होंने बहुत डिटेल ढाई सौ पेजेस की थी वेमेन पार्टिसिपेशन दिस एंड दैट ये वो सारा एंड देन एवर सिंस आई बिन इन दुबई ओवर द लास्ट ईयर तो मुझे हर बंदा जिससे मैं मिलता हूँ वो मुझे कहते हैं मैं कहता हूँ दुबई का बताया वो कहता है यार रियाद का तुम्हें पता है यू नो तुम लीप जाओ रियाद में जाओ तो एंड सो आई हैवन बिन बट आई मीन आई बिन टू द मक्का मदीना जद्दा साइड आई हैवन बिन टू रियाद बट इट सीम्स लाइक कि वहाँ पर एक नेक्स्ट लेवल किस्म का गोल्ड रश चल रहा है एटलीस्ट इट सीम्स लाइक दैट और इस वक्त जो घुसेगा वो पता नहीं क्या होगा राइट सो बोथ इन टर्म्स ऑफ जनरली हाउ डू यू सी सऊदी एट दिस पॉइंट इन टाइम एंड देन पर्टेनिंग टू डू बेजल बिकॉज माई अंडरस्टैंडिंग इज यू आर इन सऊदी ऑलरेडी विद बेथ विद एंड सो Uh, now that it's beginning to open up and and getting ready for the investors jahe wo niyam ho jahe wo even riyad ho um how are you placing yourself uh for that growth i mean look uh, i think um there's a lot of things that have to fall in place right uh, as i said you know we're kind of we're in the ads industry right uh and we have to understand trends ki agar property hai to kitni bik rahi hai you know rent bhi hoti hai theek hai but kitni bik rahi hai पाकिस्तान में हमेशा से मार्केट थी लैंड बिकता था प्रॉपर्टीज चलो बिकती होंगी बट लैंड बहुत ज़्यादा बिकता था सो हर कंट्री के डायनामिक्स डिफरेंट होते हैं राइट सऊदी के भी डिफरेंट हैं सो वी कैन ऑफ वे स्टडिंग फेज राइट नाउ ट्राइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड कि क्या हैं एक्सपैक्ट ओनरशिप के लॉज क्या हैं वो कब खुल रही है जब वो खुलेगी तो उसका क्या इम्पैक्ट होगा यू नो वीव बिल्ट इनफ टेक टू टू कैपिटलाइज इन द सिचुएशन प्रिटी क्विकली at the same time you know you don't just want to go there and say you know usi pe sawari pe chad jao uh ke ji ha ji ye to you need to understand the fundamentals take your time do it right do it right do it uh-huh. once do it right uh clearly it's a very happening place but you also need to think right up socho agar wahan pe ghar ban rahe hain so mega developments chal rahi hain you know there's one development i believe in makkah which is um 70000 units that's 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 a lot see, of units yeah. right acha wo jab banengi कौन खरीदेगा mm. उनकी सेकेंड हैंड मार्केट क्या होगी इनिशियल मार्केट में एड्स इतने नहीं चलते इनिशियल मार्केट में जो प्राइमरी मार्केट होती है उसमें आप बेच बूझ देते हो सेकेंडरी मार्केट जो है जिसमें दोबारा रीसेल होता है उसमें क्या होगा mm. कौन आएगा कितनी अवेलेबिलिटी होगी और क्या आएगा कितने साल लगेंगे बनने में यू कैन सेकेंडरी मार्केट में थोड़ी सी मेचोरिटी रिक्वायर्ड होती है अभी वो बहुत अर्ली स्टेज में बिल्कुल राइट अभी इफ यू गो बैक टू दुबई आप चले जाओ दो में और आप कहो कि अच्छा जी ये तो पाँच साल में जो है it is going to be what it is today no it's not right yeah, it, yeah. it takes time people move in then they need to move out it's it's a cycle right it's not ke main ghar mein gaya hu to bas 6 mahine baad nikalna hai mujhe nahi nahi 4 saal guzarunga 5 saal what are the cultural dynamics log apne ghar mein rehte hain apne parents ke sath rehte hain kahan rehte hain how are those going to change how is the young population gonna... so you just don't do something one thing we've learned is you just don't do something for the sake of just doing it mm. right if you see an opportunity And you say yes this is worth doing it put capital behind it put man power and etc everything do it if you don't look for another opportunity look for something else like if that's you know nobody has an unlimited runway mm. um, we can pick it up in 3 years right makes so sense. just have to be smart about it makes sense hey i'm going to wrap this up i'm going to ask you one last question that sure. i generally ask all of my guests um and i'm going to change it a little, little bit sure. because you've uh, been out of pakistan for a while and uh, you were in the us for 20 years yes correct yeah. and then you've been here for 10 years um how do you see 
You've just given up my age, but that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> How do you see, my apologies. That's all right. How do you see um, Middle East overall and then Dubai um, in 2050, uh, 26 years from now? Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm more used to looking at just next year's numbers. Uh, that's what I worry about. Uh, Generally, a, a, a vision of an image. No, no, I'll, no, I'll and again, you, I'll with a small context, uh, I do believe this is the, the, the century of Asia. Where we're seeing a lot of the yes. center of gravity of I mean, finance. I mean, it's coming back. Even, you know, after hundreds of years, it's coming back. It's coming right? back, right? So, so, so how do you see 2050? Um, you know, in this region. Uh, I think 2050 is a lot of time. I think even in the next 10 years, you're going to see tremendous things happening over here, right? That's that's what I genuinely feel. Um, you know, I go to some of these forums and, and, and I participate and I hear the things where the government is taking this uh, place. Uh, it's, the vision is just spectacular. Like in the sense that you have seen it in the past, maybe, you know, you, you just moved here recently, but in the past 2-3 years, there's just, been such a mass migration of people coming in and i see that trend continuing right um and at the same time you know they're scaling it in a way where it's a uh, kind of a, a measured scope and and you can control things and make sure that it grows in the right way uh i i i think it's going to be a technology hub um i think uh, you know you have uh, uh um um people who have spending power right uh which which is important um um and then infrastructure wise it's second to none i mean uh, you've traveled uh, i've traveled up wapis yahan pe aao i mean it's it's, 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 not, it's another world order it's, it's not like ye acha ye idhar hai aur wo idhar hai it's Haan. like ye idhar hai Haan. and then you're questioning ye baki kya kar rahe hain right i mean Haan. just just the airport experience yeah, is yeah. coming out um but 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 i i hope it turns into a um uh, and and you know mashallah it's it's a very It's a very tolerant place. Um, you know, I, I really hope it's, it, it's even the first time when I came here, which is the early 2000s, I was like, you know, if there's a melting pot, this is it. Because mm. you just see so many different nationalities. You, you don't see that anywhere else in the world. Mm. It's based on migration. I mean, 90% of the population is expats. I, I genuinely feel that you're going to have just such a, an oasis in the world, which is just going to be this place where you know their security infrastructure education technology you name it mm. uh, um and i think more businesses are going to spring up i mean just now if even if you go in we're, we've been trying to find some office space what we hear is like a 99% capacity but unkar right mm. uh commercial space um uh i think it's going to be a beacon in the region that's 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 in the in the wider asia like i think all of asia right it's going to be one one of those beacons that makes sense. Right. the the only fear that a lot of people have that i spoke to recently was okay, in the last couple of years and again this is a short term cyclical thing so i'm not saying ki ye define karega sari cheez but short term ke andar um in the last couple of years a, a lot of the growth was driven by um conflicts and and dubai was just sort of well placed here where it was the most easiest to move here sure. um and it was easiest to sort of bring the capital in and park here as well um in ki fatf ka problem chal raha tha wo i think april may march april may resolve hoga so to, to fear ye hai ke jaise wo ukraine russia resolve hoga jaise hi duniya mein thodi si stability hogi to ekdam se capital flight niklegi Uh, um, jo, I, I don't agree with that, right? You no, don't agree I, with that? I, I, I think we get it in a hockey stick effect, an inflection point, we just, you know, you just grow exponentially, right? right? I, I feel okay, the, the, the way has hit that, right? Right. Like, uh, that's, that's what so I do. Even if I go to a small point, it's always like that. Look, every place, it's never a straight line, right? It's always, it's always, it's always, it's always a bit of right. ripple, right? Right. The ripple effect is always in every place. It's what... But slope should we slope slope care right is the trajectory you know facing upwards and i think it's facing upwards i i also feel uh ke um uh, you know like i'll give you a simple stat right i mean if you look at the d33 initiative which is you know the next 10 years uh, mm. the way uh, wants to double its uh, economy right usme ek jo stat was shared uh, by the government was ke the, the, there is um 40 40% skilled labor and 60% unskilled labor. So then there's going to be population growth plus that number is going to flip. It's going to be 60% skilled and 40% unskilled. Mm. So if you think about the amount of skilled labor that's required to kind of manage that increase in population and do the flip, you 
you're going to see a much larger skilled workforce move in, right? which will change the dynamics. Um, and once you come here, and if, I think, you know, if you can, you know, with these golden visas and, and, and you know, hopefully more things that come on that site, I mean, it's difficult to find a better place. Yeah, that uh, is true. You know, uh, that is true. I think the only quality of life perspective, right? Only problem that they were so, facing was the the immigration laws and wo jo jo ab usme wo optimization la rahe. I think that just sort look, of everything has a cycle, right? Uh, I think everything takes time. Mm. Um, I think a lot of the initiatives that have happened up until this date have helped a mm. lot, right? Um, that your 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 visa is not tied to your job anymore. You it's auto renewed. You know, you can own a property and it's auto renewed, uh, you know, and, 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 and so it's just, okay, you kind of have a permanent residency, right? So, I mean, that's, that's effectively what it is. Uh, as long as, you know, as long as, 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 as I think that, that infrastructure is in place, um, I think it's going to do well. Um, I, I am, I've, I've lived through these ups and downs here a little bit. Uh, you know, those are Chauda say, those are beasts, like the, the property market was not, it was coming down and um, but then it's been on a uh, you know on a kick right now the last three or last two years at least um, but I, I just feel very excited about the future of, uh, of Dubai I think they've done a fantastic job uh, and and this is I mean I've you travel around the world and you just you can just compare it you makes can just sense see, makes uh, sense Heather Bhai thank you so much for coming in and sharing all that insight it was a phenomenal story and it was an absolute honor to Thank cover you so it. much. No, um, and I you. wish you all the very best. I'm, I'm excited to see what you come up with next. All right, wonderful. All right. Well, and I wish you all the best as well, right? Uh, keep spreading the message and the positive message and, and uh, keep doing what you do. All right. Thank you. Thank all you so right. much. And for all of you guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this episode, please share your friends. Please tell us in the comment section. Have uh, you used Dubizzl, Zameen, Bayut, OLX and थाईलैंड में क्या नाम था ठीक है ठीक है क्योंकि थाईलैंड वाला कोई देख नहीं रहा होगा बट आई यूज्ड एनी ऑफ दैट एनी ऑफ दोस समझ भी नहीं आई गेस एंड व्हाट वाज योर एक्सपीरियंस यूजिंग दोस व्हाट वर द द गुड्स द बैड्स द अगलीज लेट मी नो इन द कमेंट सेक्शन बिलो वुड लव टू हियर इट बट एनीवेज दिस वाज सेम एज़ एमरसन जेडी थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वाचिंग थॉट बिहाइंड थिंग्स एंड आई विल सी यू इन द नेक्स्ट वन